think it's half a now. second away from clicking the record button. All right, so we're here. We're clear. We want some Let's beer. And Dane's recap. wanted by the FBI. Mm -hmm. Uh, recap. We tried to spend money. Found out that Renholf hates orphans. Um, we got the spider lady to get a job finally. Um, at the Polo and I got drunk as shit. Yeah, you guys and then got I micro a uh, microdose with Paxi. Right. Is that when we met the dragon? Or that was the beginning of the session. That was the I beginning. Think. So then you microdosed and you saw something. I don't remember what it was. Then Paxi tried again. Only this time he saw uh the sorcerer of circles, whatever his name is, and he saw the circle necessary to power up something else that didn't seem to work, and then the circle for null magic. Which we're interested in. Um, <clears throat> there was a big party because the uh, high priest had returned. But uh, Fiery Manasa didn't show up, and that was disconcerting. So Paxi tried to contact her via the dream again. And that turned into a creepy nightmare hellscape of her being possessed by Anagen. So Paxi goes, wait, I got one what? spell left. What? Not Anagen. Votros. Oh, it was Votros. Okay. Because she had the That's marking. That's a lot of names you're saying there, buddy. She had the yeah. marking of Anagen on her face. Yes. yes. Okay. So it was Votros. Got it. Like the high priest of Anagen. Yeah. Votros the undying. So Paxi used uh, Scry. Rolled pretty high on his survival check, was able to triangulate their location to about a place about a day and a half ride outside of town. Oh. Um, he and Akez ran off because everybody's drunk and passed out to go see if anybody else would be willing to give us any information on where Manasa might have been hanging out, how she got associated with these people. We found the cult followers followers of shen yeah and at first they were like you said some dumb stuff we don't like you and then paxi was like it was just a prank bro and then they're like all right let's go rescue the damsel in distress paxi went with the followers of shen akaz went back to the tavern to try and get athenia and swelbo to wake up yes So, that, that that. all right. In that case, let us go to tavern. Except, Paxi, what here. are you doing here? There we go. <laughs> Paxi um, teleports into a solid wall. <laughs> <laughs> fucking G-Mod. <laughs> it's the fucking G-Mod noises. Okay. Um. All right. So I arrive. The, those two are, I'm assuming these, the fucking patrons, Bibble and Bobble, are just out. So, um... Bobble Bobble, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to go into it. Because Athenia won't kill me if I wake her up. I want to, like, how is she doing? Like, can I just, like, give, like, a cursory glance and see how she's doing? I'm doing okay. Okay. You basically can't get drunk, and you never get hungover. She got drunk, it's just she's recovering. Am I still- oh, I'm not close to you, so I don't get your bonus. Oh, I'm not doing no. that great. I'm also not conscious, so... So you technically don't actually get the benefit. So it's only a- what? Plus nine? Yeah, it was only a plus eight, I got thirteen. I'm doing okay, not great. Mm. Okay. Um, here's my dilemma, and Dane's not here, so he can't yell at me. That's a lie, hand, I, I can't. Kinda... <laughs> Fuck! Um, I want to let, I kind of want to just, like, let the team take a, a long rest, myself included. And, like, if we, if we do that, when we wake up, Paxi will be dead. I, I don't care. have a choice. 
Yeah. What are you talking about? Um, I got NPCs with plot armor with me. No, this is Dungeons and Dragons. No one has plot armor. Yeah, maybe this is like George R. R. Martin world where plot armor is just a giant target. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're right, actually. <laughs> you're I mean, important to the plot. That means you die. Yes. Okay. Rip Sean Bean. Um, let me let me look at my spell list and see if I, you know, I can. I will cast. I will cast bless on the team so they recover slightly faster. I already did that before I left. I'm gonna do it again. And I will. What what time do you say it is, Dylan? Uh, it's obviously mid time. Mid, I say midday. It has mid to be day. midday if Athenia and Swolbar are awake. <laughs> yes. Wait. So, so, like, I just got like in the. So I got my long rest, but I hear. It, no, in the fiction of the we world, I just got, got a long back. rest. Like, cool. I just got back. Because I need it, because so I took like, a lot of psychic damage last last session. It, it, uh, after what we just did, I don't think it's possible to wake us up in under eight hours. That's fair. Um, in that Coward. case, I will... I will take a long rest myself, just on the stage. So in the, it is midday, and Paxi went where? You know what, I... Uh, all that time? Actually, you know what, I, seeing as Ocas has recently learned how to summon a fine familiar, can I, 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 I want to summon a familiar and send it to go find Paxi, so I have, like, a link to him. Is that a thing I can do, Dylan? Will you allow this? Mm, how does, hold on, let me see you summon familiar. I, I still, it, it has an hour-long casting time. I still have one of my wild shape charges. Last for nine. I think how many? Okay, spells, not spells. Uh, oh, well, it disappears after four hours. Actually, that's not helpful. Actually, that's not great. It's not like a wizard familiar. It just stays with you at all times till it dies. Okay, so, and if you're someone familiar, do you want to be a celestial fey or fiend? I don't get that choice. As a druid, it has to be a fey. If oh, I it, use says, it, it, says, it says your choice. The spell That's how the spell normally works. As an oh, action, for the wizard. Yes, as an action, you can expend the use of your wild shape feature to cast the find familiar spell without material components. When you cast a spell in this way, the familiar is a fey instead of a beast, and the familiar disappears after four hours. It's based on like half my level or something. Hmm. Honestly, there's not much of a point in it because it's only four hours, and by the time we wake up, it will be gone. I'll just I'll just take a long rest and just sort of get ready to wake everyone up and alert everybody. All right. Now I'm gonna fiddle with my spells while Paxi does whatever he's gonna do. So you're doing that? Yes. Okay. In that case. Yes. I'm just going to long rest, get my own stats back up, uh, and get ready to alert everybody as, as they're up. So while you are doing that... Hold on. So, while well, you're going to rest and get your spells back while everyone's basically waking up. Taxi! So, you are decided to travel with these three individuals, the followers of Shen, correct? Sure. They are wasting no time. They are immediately making their way out of the city. They're not even bothering to see if you're falling behind them. Uh, hold on. You know, I guess this will be fitting for now. You're still in the Gracia. I so, mean, are they running? Are they on horses? Oh, uh, they're park? running towards. They're t running towards. They're they're currently running outside the city on foot. Great. Although after they boo run out and get a good decent distance, that is when they stop, and that is when the half orc follower. Currently, 
claps his hands together. And when they're moving out, you notice that these little wisps of white flames are swirling around into his po between his palms. And he starts muttering something. And then after just like an, a couple of incantations, he thrusts his palm forward and his white flame starts expanding and taking the shape of a horse. And then it solidifies into a pure white horse. Very happy he has a horse, I say to myself. And that is when the other two start to put their hands together and do the same incantation, summoning horses from their own. Well, shit. With that, that is when they immediately hop up, but then the human, the guy, just like looks at you. <laughs> I'm going to be very honest here and say, you probably don't know how to do that, do you? Nah. All right, then hop on. There's enough space for two of us. I can we summon something, you. but it'll kill me in like six seconds. I jump on his horse. <laughs> he just... They're currently not seem to be in the mood for messing around. <laughs> kind of like when he said that, he kind of just got like a lot of unhappy looks, to say the least. Yeah, I, but I get that they... a lot. Yeah, but you hop on and they immediately start riding off towards the location that you've mentioned and the state of least it's a pretty uncomfortable silence they are not saying anything to you they are not talking i mean the guy the, the human your whiz seems like a, one of the more outgoing of the group but even he doesn't really say anything like do i get the idea that i could ask questions about shen do you want to I would ask, um, does Shen have a rivalry or what, 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 uh, some, some sort of beef with, uh, oh god, not Vosotros, but the other guy. The Anagen. Anagen. And you're asking the person in front of you? Yeah, like. What what's do, does Anagen and, Vo, and Shen have some sort of altercation between them? That is when the guy kind of gets a little thoughtful from off before nodding. From what I've been told, Lord Shen has been at odds with that demon lord for as long as I can imagine. He just like starts thinking a bit. I admit that I'm more of a more recent member in joining Lord Chen's following. But <laughs> yeah, we've had several very bad run-ins with that demon's followers. Especially since not only do they like to spread chaos and Chen's about order. Uh that demon lord's followers also like to seek us out. So you say Shen's about order, like what's, what's the, what's the draw? What do you get out of it? Well, Lord Shen, he is referred to by many names, which explain exactly his whole ideal, like ideology. Like he's the Lord of Silver Flames, the, it's basically the Sanctuary Keeper of Outcasts. Essentially, he takes in those who have no place to call their own and then basically gives them a purpose. He just, like, looks at the other two people riding with him. And he goes, I mean, we were kind of uh, not really welcome where we came from. And when the old man Generosity found us and basically told us about Lord Shen, that is when we were given a medallion. And after we searched out and found the shrine of Shen... We were given a gift of silver flame. And we're, the whole goal is... It, uh, Lord Shen seeks to provide order. As in... Like, d raw... Destructive chaos is something that Lord Shen is completely against. Chaos, in his mind, is something that is natural to the world. But there is forms of chaos that are too destructive to... Basically lay... Alone. Such examples being the demons of hell... 
their form of chaos simply is to just cause pain and strife wherever they go just for the sake of it. And from my knowledge, that is what that demon lord Energen is looking to cause. Just pure, uncontrolled chaos. Obviously, I mean, I hold nothing against chaos in general. But I kind of see what Lord Shin is aiming for. Cool. I'll remain silent for the rest of the journey. Alright. Awkward. With that... Oh, because of your connections, Faxi. <laughs> My connections? You have a... Well, yeah, you have a demon you summon. Oh, yeah. That's... All right. the, uh, the, the, you also are a demon. A little bit. I'm an infernal. Slightly different. <laughs> yeah, infernal tangents to devils, which are lawful evil. However, he, when he when he's talking about that chaos, he doesn't seem like he was referring anything directed to you, Paxi. In fact, for all he's acting, he doesn't even think you're like he's not even aware of the stigmas that surround tieflings. Okay. Cool. Good. We got a non-racist on our hands, boys. We can fix it. You and them are not going to get along well. <laughs> Ha. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Alright, now we, I guess we go back to the tavern. Oh, Paxi, make sure to take a short rest while you're riding on the horse. Um. Yeah, I could do that. Sure. Can I do that? Sure. Cool. You're welcome. <laughs> you're gonna, you have two out of two spell slots. Yeah! Right? Okay. I assume I wake up first, Dylan. Yes, you wake up first. Okay. As um, our NPCs whose name I can't remember physically, are they awake? Seal O'Neill and uh, Jock Redrock. That those are cute names. Uh, also, thank you. Also, uh, Bibbidi Bobbidi. Yes. And Bibbidi Bobbidi. Yes, Bibbidi and Bobbidi. Uh, are they awake? Are they still? Because Jock got pissed. He's this awake, pissed. and he's okay. our, He's currently cooking for the page fairs patrons of the inn right now. Is that, right. He, the way he's acting, he's 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 acting like he's normal self. That he was not pissed beyond belief earlier. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, I'm I am going to walk in to here. And I'm going to put one hand on Athenia's left shoulder, one hand on Athenia's right shoulder, and fucking shake her as hard as I can. How to get uh, a paladin to stab you, 101. She doesn't sleep with her sword physically on her person, I assume. Yeah, but I can smite you with a fist. Uh, okay, well... Wait, let me read how that works. Oh... No, you you can only smite with a melee weapon attack. Unarmed strikes aren't melee weapon attacks unless you are a monk. Mm. Maybe. I don't know anymore. Anyway, uh, if I get killed, then I get killed. I'm gonna just like, Athenia, wake up! Athenia! It's important! Athenia! Well, you're good. You're, you are fine. <clears throat> I just imagine Akaz, like, grabbing her shoulders... And like calmly taking a deep breath, closing his eyes. <gasps> that is exactly what happens for Bane. Nice mic clip. It is very good. It's helpful. It adds to the experience. Oh. Yeah, it's the experience of not having to have actually heard okay. Bane do that. Here's the thing is that my AC is higher than 10, so I'm fine. Damn. How do you miss a guy that's actively latched onto you? Uh. You'd be surprised. Drew, are you talking? You know what? I think no. she should roll uh, with advantage. Well, I tried to... For what? For punching Akez in the face because he's so close and currently grappling you. That's not that how means... it works. Yeah, I, I actually think you have disadvantage on attacks to people who are grappling you. And you definitely don't have advantage on them. Well, I rolled a 10. It didn't work, but I freaked out. Okay, Athenia, I take a I take a step out of smiting range. Athenia, bad things happen in the night. You remember that uh, tiefling bard lady that Paxi has a crush on? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, I remember. Man, what happened? I mean, I feel fine, but 
I don't remember a whole lot of last night. Um, you, uh, I got this cool magical cup because we helped out the city, and it makes infinity alcohol, and you and Swobo had a drinking contest, but since both of you are demigods at this point, it took a really long time for you guys to get pissed. Why do I suddenly really need to go to the bathroom? Yeah, that's, it's a, it's a volume thing. Um, you have fun with that. I, I'm gonna let you deal with that. I'm gonna wake up Swobo, and, what, and how I wake up Swobo is I take, I hold... One end of my quarter staff, like the very end of it, <laughs> and I poke Swolbo's foot with the other one. Like poke. Swolbo, Swolbo, wake up! Swolbo, Swolbo, wake up! It's an emergency. Swolbo. Uh, get uh, get like. Oh, it's you. Yes, wake up. You get all that. Oh, hey, you guys. Uh, something important happened. Uh, team meeting in the main room in like five, and then I leave rage, range, and then I go over here. Uh, people. Um. Just tell him he gets to kill cult members or kill things. Okay. I will. It just, I would just look at the thing. Okay. Hey, seal, 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 seal. He just like pokes out from the kitchen. Can I help you? Um, Seems like you're in a bit of a hurry. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I know why. Paxi is... Uh, Paxi and some new friends we made are already on their way. And we're going to head out as soon as these two are done waking up. Hey, Athenia. Hey, Athenia. Oh, uh, you don't know that That my I, shield says it like that. No, I don't. You've never helped my, sh my shield, I don't think. No, I'm, I've never spoken with Wonton. I don't think any of us have, except you. Well, morning. I ha Axie has? Axie has, and that for very, very briefly spoke to Wonton, and then promptly gave him back. That's understandable. That's very understandable. And he said, Athena, you have the patience of a saint. She really does. Um, Does, does Wonton require provision or attunement? Uh, yes. Damn. Uh, okay. Team. Bad things happened. You remember, okay, Athena, I, I already told you. You remember the the lady? Oh, it doesn't uh, take a two minutes, actually. Okay, no, anyway, sorry. Go ahead. You uh, said... You... Yeah. You said um, something happened in the night? Yeah, you, you, remember, you remember the tiefling bard lady. The, uh... Um, the one who was very briefly here and then flew off when Paxi made her fly? Yeah. Yes. Um, her. Do you remember, before I met you guys, how you fought a demon cult? A little bit, yeah. The, uh, a uh, while back, though. The leader of the demon cult is an immortal entity, and it has possessed the bard lady's body. Something, something, collagen, or whatever his name was, yeah. Yeah, uh, he's, he's inside of uh, the bard lady's body. He's possessed her brain. And Paxi went on ahead with some uh, <laughs> allies of ours, some new friends. And I know a general idea of where we need to go. But I had to wait for you guys because you guys were fucked. So we should head out as soon as we can. Huh. In the carriage. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Swobo, did you get all that? Uh, cult leader needs killing something something smash cultists. I like the way you well, think. I like this. I like this. I, I like this version of Swobo. All right, why not? Let's go. My horse okay. is outside. Yes. Um. Hey, um, Jacques, can we get something to go? Like wrap it up in some, uh, some butcher's paper. Uh. Currently, we don't have any food available since they're currently being made for. Hey! Oh, they can wait longer. These people. They did a great job. Yeah, he just like. He's about to hit, he's, like, Jocko's in the process of handing the customer, who's currently behind you, Akis, like, oh, a large fucking platter of fish. <laughs> and instead, he's just like, he just gives it to you, Akis, and the guy's just like, Oi, that's my food! Ah, hey, you get a moment, don't worry! This shit's, the way stuff I make will be fresh! I, uh, he just looks I like you, Akis, it's, hey, it's still technically fresh. Take it with ya! Okay. I want to turn to the, the customer. You're like, uh, hey, excuse me, how much does this cost? How much did this cost you? One gold! I 
put down t- two gold pieces in front of Jacques to ensure that this man gets good service, and also because I like Jacques a lot. Jacques just takes it. Aye, right, thanks for the meat. Thanks, I hope you have a good time. Then he looks at the other guy. Hey, if you want another platter, it'll cost you one gold. I <laughs> got him. <laughs> um, it's not my problem, it's a Jacques problem. Okay, to the carriage. Okay, I put the... Pl- I, I take a few pieces of fish as I walk, and I put the platter in the in the cart. Okay. All right. All right. I, I would hate for us to have to spend another, like, a 45-minute conversation about rules, but... Is there any way that we can hitch me and the regular horse up to the cart so we can go even faster and actually catch up? With I don't think it would be faster. It just means you can probably travel longer without right. as much rest. I mean, uh, yeah, it doesn't work like that, not even in real life. Uh, well, wait, kind so of telling... us, but it just makes it, it makes it so you guys can travel further. Okay, so you're telling me that two horses do not equal the speed of one horse. Or, yeah, okay, that's fair. Um, all right. In that case, I will just... I will sit in the back with Swolbo and NPCRU, and we'll eat some fish. And uh, I'll hand some to the little door to Athenia. And I'll just direct Athenia. Okay, we need to go here. They left the town that way, so we need to go that road. Sure. So, tell me again what exactly happened. So, she's taken over by Collagen. Yes. Taxi decided to go with the random group of individuals that he knows nothing of. They're trustworthy. Oh, they're trustworthy. How do you know that? I take out my little pendant of Shen. Uh, I I don't know if I told you this story, Athenia. I got this from someone in uh, um, back in uh, Witch Door. And it's a token of a religious order that I've learned about only recently, to be fair. Like, back then, a few months at this point. But, um, uh, they're good people. People who have this are good people. So that's nice, but... I interject and say, he he says that Paxi made some rash and dumb decision. Why is this hard to believe? Actually, you know what? You make a good point, Swalbo. Let's go with that answer instead. (laughs) Basically. (laughs) Because <laughs> that answer doesn't make me look like an idiot. It just makes Faxi look like an idiot. It's a both. <laughs> we have, yeah, we have no proof that these Shen guys are good. I I trust them. I don't have detect good and evil. That's not a spell, or it doesn't work the way it used to. But I trust them. I don't. Well, they didn't try to kill us, and yet, how do you not know that Paxi isn't in danger? I mean, Paxi's always in danger. To be fair. But you, know, you have a good point. It's, I mean, if he's in statistically more danger than normal, I don't know. But considering, I doubt it. Even if they were actively trying to kill him. Do I know if he's in danger? No. Do I care? Eh, not really. <laughs> also, no. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how that works. If you just don't yeah. care about a problem, it can't affect you. Wow. So what I'm hearing yeah. is... Uh... Forget the Bard girl and go for Paxi. I mean, I, I think it's sort of a multi-tiered issue. Step one is to meet back up with Paxi and make not dead. Step Does two nobody is care say, about the cult you hear the disembodied voice of Paxi saying? That's... So I mean, to be perfectly fair, I stabbed... You didn't get to see it, but I stabbed this girl through the head to make sure she wasn't possessed anymore. It just didn't work. It was well, also the dream world. He did that that. During the dream world. Phase. I mean, I heard yeah, some like cultists needed phase. dying, and I'm, you know, good at making sure that happens, so I'm ready yeah. to go. I mean, if, like, yeah, Swobo likes to murder. Athenia, you like doing good and justice. Eh, murder is such a harsh word. Is it an accurate one, he, though? He just... He, he hey, helps them cultists. be lifened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it murder if I'm preventing them from killing people? Exactly. Good way of looking at it. And Athenia, you like doing good and banishing the wicked and something about crowns? That's what Paladin yeah. Good. Teamwork. I like to keep the order of things. Yes. Let's go. 
That's the trout. I get two coconuts and I do the Monty Python thing, even though we have a real horse. So now you guys are leaving the city? Yes. A real fake horse. Uh, they have an eight-hour head start on us, but I have confidence. I don't. Re Unfortunately, I do not have the spell Detect Dumbass. And even if I did, it would ping on me. So, uh, we can't find Paxi easily. Ooh, self-burn. Those are rare. Yes. Usually I only burn my teammates with Moonbeam. Um. But yeah. I, I mean, I say we just follow the path that Paxi was on. And, we'll again, we'll either meet up with him or his corpse. That's good. Sure. Yeah. So... Do either of you... Ha well, you don't have any spells, Swolbo. Athena, do you have the Swol de the spell, Detect Paxi? Uh, <laughs> let me ask Wonton real quick. Hey, Wonton. Hey, Thadia! I understand you can detect violence, but can you detect fucking morons? Uh... You know, I would like to say violence and for you know and morality or whatever the hell they call that goes hand in hand, but at the same time, I'll think I'm not like a I like a real re detection thing, Athania. Mm, so what I'm hearing is no. Yeah, Athania. But at the same time, though, if he starts finding stuff, I can probably find out where he is. Uh, depending on how close he is, because I can tell, I can smell violence from miles away. Not literally, mind you, but I can I can get a good idea. Okay. Not, but at the same time, uh, though, Walton says uh, he can't detect dumbass, but he can detect violence. Okay, that's oh, useful. Also, Athenia. Hey, Athenia. 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 Yeah. Athenia. Anyways, uh, just like you know, Athenia, uh, I don't think me, as much as I love violence, and I mean really love violence, you know me, because, you know, I am Wanton, the shield of wanton violence, that sort of thing. Anyways, Athenia, uh, if you want to really look for your you know, lost friend, honestly, I think it'd be a better idea for me to search for the fishing hook instead of, you know, for your friend itself. How fucking Ooh. dare you. Because, you know, she gives us a little bit of energy thing that I can kind of sense from far away. I uh, no, just can't really miss it. You know, the whole uh, artificial item kind of thing, except, you know, not made by my creator, but at the same time, something else. She has a weird, distinct energy. Not sure if it's demonic, celestial. I don't know what it is. But anyways, I can see it from far away. If you need to know an idea... I can point you in a direction, because I, I can see text things from really far away. Well, hey. I appreciate it. Hey, Athenia has the patience of a saint. Uh, she's always hearing this. We're not always no, role-playing, no. but this is always in her brain. Anyway, if you want direction, go northwest. All right, guys, we got to go northwest, and I direct my, uh, my horse. Dylan, right, as we're traveling, is there... I'm looking for something that I could light on fire that would send up a smoke signal. There's would, a couple of trees. I mean, you are that would not like cause a forest fire. <laughs> you probably would cause a forest fire. It's not the, the like the plants are not dry. So, but I do have magical like, create bonfire magic. So, you could probably create like light some patches on fire. If you are near a river, no, nah, no, you're not near the river at this point anymore. You're you guys are traveling really fast on horseback, a little bit faster than a normal horse would travel, I'd say. Right, so but, I'm just looking to put up one column of smoke, kind of like a this way, guys. You can probably do that then, without okay. much of it. You won't cause the forest fire. It might spread a little bit, but the grass is not dry enough to actually spread that far. Okay, then at some point... In the early morning, when I hope they are awake, I will use Create Bonfire and put up something that will p cause plenty of smoke that hopefully they see. And hopefully the enemy doesn't see. Well, Smokey the Bear has been added yeah, to right They're like bear. a day so, away, and I'm only like a night ride out of there. So, let me get draw, let me get to draw shape. So, r the purple is where you guys are going towards. That's yes. where you saw, where you scribed. Red is... Red Hulk. No, red, red is based everyone except Paxi. Oh, Draw God. shape. And let me do a... Is white visible? Nah, it's not as visible as I'd like. So, 
let me instead draw a shape and pick a different color. Yellow is a terrible choice. It is. Go hot pink. It's a, pe it's a color that fits, Paxi. Just use black. There's no hot pink, but there is magenta. So that's, this that's will be hot your... pink. <laughs> this no, just in. Magenta. Dylan is colorblind. No, that yeah, is magenta. Said... Hot, hot pink is brighter. I know my colors. It's it's I'll pink enough. I'm using what can I studio? <laughs> anyway, so Paxi, you are like right here now. Okay, so and we have left for... the bank of the river. Yes, and you are traveling upwards. Were we traveling with the river most of the night? Yes, and you guys are trapped. They're not stopping at all. Okay, so I would say around the time we leave the bank of the river, I would light the bonfire. Kind of to signal, yes. like, go this way from the river. Yep. And at this point, you guys are arriving to an area where they start slowing down. And that is when you hear the half orc guy just up, who's been taking the lead, just say, Hold. I sense demonic energy, and it's very close. Sorry, I ate something. Just kidding. They kill you. <laughs> he, he ignored you. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the human though who's with you kind of like, <clears throat> <clears throat> Good one, but not the time or place. So that I write up and then stop. Hold on. Where is this? All right. So you guys arrive at this location. Shit. Oh, hey, Tori found those sand sharks. Why do I remember that? Well, I do. Okay. So, Paxi, you guys three dismount and they disperse their horses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The human and the half elf look like Warcraft characters. They kind of do. And they start making their way up to this dead body. Yeah, it's a dead body. It's um, and not just one dead body as you get closer you notice that there's more does this look like a person that wouldn't be able to keep their inner monologue to themselves they, they have the exact same robes and they also have a similar looking mask And but the only difference is that they're dead and they have a very clean like slash right at their chest as well as seems like a stab wound Does this look like Dreshard's work? Currently, I mean, do you want to roll? What do you want to roll? Uh, either history oh, or survival. Oh, shit. Shit. Is Paxi proficient in Dreshard? I'm going to write, I'm going to roll history. 21. Does, it, does that look like... Comparing this to Dreshard, you kind of look close and realize that this, whoever did this, is way more clean than Dreshard. Like, whoever did this killed this guy in two swings, a slash and a stab. And whoever they were, this thing was fighting, like this guy, whoever he fought was very skilled. Great, we have another asshole that I have to watch out for getting stabbed in the chest. Nice. Okay. Who do we know that would be killing members of the... What do these guys call themselves? Bitch boys. Cult of the Rising Darkness, I believe. Okay, the oh, Cult of the Rising Darkness uh, this time. The new name they gave themselves. Yeah. Who, who, who would be killing people, followers of Anagen? Are you asking them that? Yeah. That I know one what? person who might, but he's on the other side of the continent. The half-elf, she strokes her chin a little bit. I mean, I'll be honest. The there are There's not really many who would not attack them, simply because of the fact that the cult 
of antigen often attack other people or steal from them or abduct them indiscriminately. So just who, so basically whoever they becomes a target, which is almost anyone and everyone, will automatically hit, find themselves fighting. And so I'm hearing like, a talk shake their head situation. So from what I'm seeing is these individuals perhaps pick their fight with a wrong foe. Hmm. Interesting. And that's when they start moving out a little bit, spreading. I'm gonna pick this guy up, and I'm gonna start making a pile of bodies. What? And you move over there, and you can see there's more bodies. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. So I'm I'm going to start piling them like well we don't want disease to spread so so he's piling although as you get over here Paxi you start noticing you're hearing voices or specifically a voice from this direction uh shit 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 uh summon morning and like clang the rock to kind of like s s like signal everybody, and then I'm gonna be pointing it that direction. I'm when gonna, you I'm... do, the boy stops, and that is when the other three look at you sharply, like, "What the fuck did you do that?" And I'm looking. I'm not looking at them. I'm looking at that direction. You're not cool. That, I'm keeping my eyes. You know, in case. That's somebody... when you start. You start. You start hearing footsteps coming from this direction now, and it's heading towards you, Taxi. We are in the middle of a desert. It is wide open. And it is in the middle of the day. What the hell is over there, Dylan? <laughs> you have to see what's behind this rock. Yes. Unfortunately, full cover is a mechanic. I'll, I'll, I will scoot this way. Right. So when you can see a man. Uh -huh. oh, what? A man. He's walking towards you. He's wearing distinct clothes. He's wearing like long, flowy, rope-like it's a clothing of a very soft fabric that you don't really recognize. He has a long blade that's in his, on a hilt that's hanging by his side. Long brown hair. And it kind of stops. And it just looks at you. And then it raises the eyebrow. Uh, oh. is this your you handiwork? You look like one of those red-robed individuals. No, we are clearly not. As I pick up, an, I'll put my spear away and pick up another body and bring it over here. And also, you know there's a lot more bodies around where he is. Um, okay, let, let, let's count the it, bodies, it, everybody. Is his, is his sword in a sheath, or is it hanging loosely it, by his side? It's in a sheath. Okay. And he's just walking to the side, kind of casual. You can see he has a couple of wounds on his form, like fresh. And currently, these three, well, I'd say, I guess I'd say cults, because that's pretty, kind of what they are at the moment. They are currently, like, getting ready into a fighting stance, while he just looks completely relaxed. So, I'm just gonna be walking towards this body over here. I'm just like, would this be your handiwork, as I pick this one up and start bringing it over to the pile? It just drags over. He looks at it. Nonsense said. You would be correct. Although I wouldn't say quite handiwork. More like a swordsmanship. Uh, well, I have Literally. no ties to these people, but, you know, leaving corpses around spreads disease, so I plan on taking <laughs> care of these before moving on. I would say disease is, is quite a good term to describe whatever they are, but it would be more sick in the mind instead of physical. Regardless, seeing that you're here, I apologize for the mess I've made. <laughs> but, as I see, they attacked first, and I gave them plenty of chances to stand down. Ah. Forgive me, it seems like some introductions are in order. <clears throat> you are. I am Paxi, and I turn to the stack that I have, and I cast Bonfire to get this 
get the party going. Uh, let me. Find a fire token real quick. This will do. Cool. Proxy. Hmm. Interesting name. And he looks at the other three who are currently moving a little ways from the pile. Oh, I got I can't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't stand next to that. <laughs> I can't. I can't fucking grab the token, anyways. And you are. That's when the human speaks up. I'm Valeth. And the other two are kind of just staring at this guy. Um, <clears throat> part of them. As I said, I'm Valeth. He points to the half-elf. This is Sierra. And he points at the half-orc. And this... Um, where it's Gronk. I at? Gronk. Umrah. They have the names of Warcraft characters, too! Uh, um... I don't think we've caught your name, though. Ah, <laughs> of course not. I didn't introduce myself. After all, it'd be more sense for you to introduce yourselves first. As for me... Hmm. That's when he starts stroking his chair and he's kind of grinning like a shit-eating grin. Well, isn't that a secret? You yeah, bitch. I sigh. I pick up another fucking body and drag it over to the fire. <laughs> okay, so I think this is Jetstream Sam. I think that's this character's name. That's my guess. <laughs> Anyways, I am Kenthro. Uh, let me actually give you the name. Kenthro Switch Sparrow. Kenthro. I have to say, this lad is quite interesting. Many dangers every twist and turn. I mean, fruit goes unspoken. Shut up. Ken That's when he stops. Swift Sparrow. S Swift Sparrow. This land, Margratia, was it? I must say. It is quite more exciting than the land of Bumisia. Or is it the Bumisiocracy? The names are quite different. I get them mixed up all the time. Same. Regardless, seems that you all travel have a bit of a haste in your movements. I'm assuming you're in a hurry. Kenthro, do you have any sort of uh, long last la long lasting uh, hatred for these cult members? Mm -hmm. Not that I can think of, after all, I've only just met them. Of course, our initial encounter it was a bit rocky, but let's say we work things out just fine. Were there any that looked a little bit more important that got away? <laughs> None that I can think of. All of them were quite the same. They... Mm. We're, we're looking for the leader. Ah, so there's a leader. It makes sense for a cult, you said. Hmm. Well, I've only just arrived over in this location. After all, I was making my way towards... What did they call it? No Man's Land? Yes. I was heading towards No Man's Land. And that is when I had this unfortunate run-in with these individuals who were not quite right in the head. You know, this might sound like a weird question, but have you ever heard of some group called the Black Token Society? Ah, Black Token Society. I've heard of their name being dropped every now and then. Apparently a famous adventurer group. I had a hope of running into them, seeing how strong they were. Ah, they're not all that tough. Mm hmm Is that so? That's quite disappointing, then. After all, I am traveling the way of just... That way I can better myself as a swordsman. <laughs> that is when he goes over. Sauce pulls out his blade. You know, it currently has a bit of blood on it still. He just a quick swipe. And he knows all the blood just shoots off the weapon. 
This is just a oh, Metal Gear Rising character, Dylan. And he just sheaves it. Shut up. So I look back at... Uh, who, who would you say the leader of my little party is here? Well, since you're doing all the talking, I presume you... No, I mean, I, I'm asking Dylan. Oh. A half-orc. Yeah. <laughs> you okay. just ask... If, if you were just asked him, he, that's what he would have said. So... So... I look back at the half-orc, I'm like, well, nothing to see here, no danger, should we continue on? Where'd your horses go? We, <laughs> we dispersed them. All the now says that this issue is not actually a problem, we will then move along. And that's when the Sabre, like the Sabre, he looks like a unusual swordsman of a faraway origin. Like his aesthetic is nothing like you've ever seen. <laughs> He's a yes, Sam, he a mysterious yeah. swordsman from a distant yeah. Far East. <laughs> you, you, could say he's, you could say he's some kind of ro roaming, wandering warrior. Anyway. <laughs> How many D6s? That's all you do. I can turn into a badger. I'm immune to red dragons. Fuck you. Honey badger, don't care. Honey badger, don't give a fuck. I am a cast dropped dead in the cart. No <laughs> you just suddenly like he's just riding, talking like <laughs> starts foaming yeah. at the mouth. Exactly. Brain oh, shit, rub hands Red together. dragons begin oh, pouring yeah. out of his mouth. <laughs> so you're looking for the leader of this cult? I'm gonna let them speak for a second. Then he just turns to them. So, you're looking for the leader of this cult? Now, these three... Time for don't uh, talk to himself. Shut up. That was when the half work guy just gives a small nod. This leader of this cult possessed our friend. We are looking to see if we can get her back, or, you know, at worst, release her from her pain. Possessed, you say? Ah, no, that, that cannot do. Hm. Not to say I haven't quite fought an individual who's been possessed, but possessed by who? A demon? A devil? A spirit? Come now, there's only so much I can list before I run out of uh, options. Now this one, he kind of looks confused. I would say demon. But at the same time, I'm not sure if it's actually a demon. It is a leader of a cult known as Voltros the Undying. He is renowned for serving a demon lord, Anagen, who... Hold on. I don't need the whole backstory. Just a brief summary will do. At this point, Dylan's this guy being just a jerk like, to himself. <laughs> That's when he speaks up. <clears throat> uh, long story short... He's leader of Demon Cold. He has some weird spell or ritual that he casts that allows him to always come back from the dead and possess other bodies. And first, this is his own goal. He's pretty crazy. That sounds like almost like a lich, but with extra steps. Uh, is he a lich? If he was a lich, then he would be causing much more destruction than he would already be doing. Good point. Uh, no, he's not a lich. I can hear quite plainly. Anyways, since you're all going off to fight this lich with extra stiffs, but not actually a lich, mind if I tag along? That is when this guy goes, no. We have too many people. Too many? Too many There's NPCs, not enough PCs. You see how it is. NPCs aren't familiar with that term. Just kidding. <laughs> That's disappointing. Well, fine then. After all, I had a land that no man is supposed to go to to arrive at. I've heard there's a little interesting dragon there. Well, uh, uh, now, now, you wait, wait, wait. Actually, kill him so he can't take the dragon kill. Now, kill did, him right now. Did you Throw fill out the proper uh, dragon slaying forms? You don't want the town of Renhold coming after you because you took their loot. You know, there's... Slay dragon? Who said I was going to be doing such a thing? I'm thinking more of a friendly spa. 
have you known a dragon to spar to the Ooh. death <laughs> i have known of several dragons who would be more than happy to indulge in a spa although i've never encountered them myself but if not if this one is not quite as welcoming well i'll take my leave but otherwise i, I feel like taking my chances so uh I don't this know guy's the dragon. Lower its HP for us. I don't know the dragon personally, but I do know that there are you know, rules and tariffs in place that, if you plan on bringing down such a beast, there are you know, uh, there's lo loot and hoard sharing. Uh, uh, what's the word? <laughs> <laughs> They're called packs. The, the ho horde packs. funds that already have a claim to that that dragon's horde that you have to be a, a member of, you know, certain guild associated factions to be able to lay claim to such a thing. Should an outsider just go in and claim it for himself, well, he would make himself an enemy of the entire country. I need to roll for bullshitting. <laughs> Well, isn't that quite complicated? Perhaps I didn't know as much as I thought. I guess it's a good thing that I'm not actually in it for the money. After all, I'm simply here to sharpen my skills. I'm not actually looking to claim riches. That is so something that I have no interest You'll do the roll, Paxi. I want to see it. The now, roll, wait a minute. You, you think just money is the only thing to be gained. Experience oh and skill honing is... What, is that worth nothing? I'm pretty sure we don't use experience. All your damn dice. <laughs> Roll the dice back I'm here. trying to get back to my chair. I'm bullshitting this whole way. Uh, I'm actually good at this. I'm not good at this. Shit! Yeah, 14's fine. And he starts nodding his head. And he's kind of grinning. Dylan, oh, what do these me. people think about the bullshit that's happening? They're just staring at... Paxi, to say the least, these guys have lived in Margrazia long enough to know that what Paxi's like, what the spewing fuck is actually are you lies. talking about? <laughs> but he, he's just like nodding his head, kind of just gritting a shit-eating grin. You, he he uh, believes me, he just doesn't <laughs> give a shit. <laughs> well, after all, getting skill is in fact quite valuable, more valuable than many things. Something that you simply keep throwing money until you gain enough power and that will substitute. However, when you lack skill... When do you do is encounter an individual with more skill than you, and you'll find yourself wiped clean. But I appreciate the words. I'll keep that in mind. We're going to have to fight a dragon and a samurai. Get ready, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. The sam the wandering swordsman won't kill us. No, no, no. He's just going to lower the dragon's HP to make it easier for us. Yes. We're not capable of fighting a dragon, we just have to fight a half-dead dragon. I mean, you guys already killed a wholly dead dragon. This doesn't so sound like something that Swobo would be happy about. I'm not talking to Swobo. I don't even know this is happening. <laughs> well, uh, off we go then. Yes, my adventuring NPC friends. Uh... That's when he I, immediately mumbles something on his breath. How this is just a big waste of time. And he summons a spiritual horse. Yes. Ah, isn't that quite a interesting party trick? He just moves over here. It's a shame you are in a rush. Oh well. I hope you have a good time killing that. Well, whatever it is you're trying to kill. I say it was a. Uh... Pleasure meeting you, Jetstream Sam. High five. Do you want skateboard? I'm familiar with that name. Regardless. Now, move along. I won't keep you here any longer. Does he not high five <laughs> me? No. He God. doesn't seem to understand what that is. <laughs> okay. I'll jump on the horse. Get fucked, Paxi. You got left hanging. And you guys ride off.
and you guys get closer. Other group, you guys are riding closer now. You are about where are you? I don't know where are we. All right, so they are right here, and you're not moving up forward. You guys like reach the river. And you see these pillar. You see two pillars of smoke. One that goes a little bit beyond here, and the one that goes all the way over here. Hmm. My metagame senses are tangling, team. I think we should follow the smoke trails. <sighs> agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Paxi is not. Smoke trail, smoke, Paxi smoke is trails. not lighting Paxi's any not more smoke. Man. Paxi's not a subtle man. Paxi is also being a fiend. Of course, has fire powers. It's in his nature to set fires. And then you may be saying, hey, Kath, that's kind of a racist thing to say. You see, Paxi's racist. That makes it okay. Yeah. Agreed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Um, I don't... I don't have any spells I can... You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to summon a... I'm going to... As we're writing, it's going to take two hours. But I'm going to summon an animal companion. And then I'm going to take a short rest to get my wild shape charge back. So I'll have three hours of fine f of a familiar and... Two hours. Don't worry about it. I guess I can have my familiar doing things while I'm taking a short rest. Anyway, I want to have a familiar. I want to do that. It might be useful to have eyes in the sky. Assuming you get a familiar that's an eyes in the sky. I can choose what it looks like. Oh. Normal. It's, its creature type is locked as fey as opposed to fiend or celestial. So what, they, choose what familiar are you looking to summon? Uh, uh, owl, because it's overpowered. Fair. So you are casting Fine Familiar. You guys are trying to move up. Taxi, you guys are getting closer towards the location. Then you guys arrive at the second pillar. All right. Uh, do we, do we, we find the half-assed attempt to burn the bodies? Yep, this is Paxi's handiwork. Only Paxi would do something this psychotic, but this half-assed. Oh, is, oh, is he still here? Oh, he yes, finished. He is. Okay. You notice that there's a big pile of bodies that is currently burning intensely. I would like to roll perception to see if I recognize any of the bodies that are burning. They're Go on ahead. fire. Roll yeah. Perception. I know that. You Guys, just see a bunch of bodies there. Are <laughs> and you can see an unusual man just sitting against the rocks. Currently... Right. Cleaning his blade. I get down and I unhitch the cart from my horse and I get and I mount the horse. It's a good thing that we're not actively in combat because else you would have taken several opportunities to attack. We don't do that. <clears throat> yeah. Do I have a familiar yet, Dylan? Hmm? Do I have a familiar? Not yet. You're about 30 minutes off. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll continue casting the spell. I'll just <laughs> let, I, I'll let Athenia handle this. If she starts dying, then I'll fix it. But she has a high charisma. She can be the face. So, so could you tell me who you are and what happened here? Ah, oh, greetings. Uh, now that you look about it, this scene does look kind of gruesome and disconcerting. Absolutely. These are merely individuals who are quite sick in the mind who attacked me first. I give them plenty of chance to stand down, but alas, they seemed quite fixated on the fact of having them being indoctrinated or killed. Huh. All right, cat. We're about to see animal abuse live on stream. We got Seems like there's a second group of people to run into the situation. Second? Uh -huh. Did Indeed. my friend Paxi come through here? Ah, so Paxi's your friend. Well. Well, what I guess friend is kind of a loose term. Hmm. Ah, a traveling companion. That's perhaps a better term to describe. Bingo. But regardless, yes, they came by, asked a couple of questions, and then moved on. Seemed that they were about to 
rescue or kill a friend. Something like that. Huh. Okay. Well, I appreciate that information you have given us. Uh, might I ask who you are? Mm, it's not the question. Uh, it would be quite rude to ask me my, for my name when you haven't even given me yours. No, that's not how this works, buddy. As my, oh. I, I treat those with respect for those who respect me. Ah, as but... well. So, and that would be disrespectful to dodge a question asked for no reason other than to cause confusion. Ah, but please keep in mind, I am not from around here where I'm from. It is very unbecoming to basically force another to give their name when they themselves remain unknown. So, by my culture, what you're doing is very dishonorable and disgraceful. But uh, I would cultural... like to roll uh, insight on that. Uh, for insight. any of the people who are watching the podcast who are playing the Hello. honor drinking game, take a shot. I would like to roll bitch slap. <laughs> Eleven. It seems like there's some truth to his words, but with or how much he actually means it or just gives a shit about what he said, you're not sure. <laughs> but he just shrugs his shoulders. Ah, but the last. Cultural norms often clash when they come from different places. Fine then. How about a bit of a compromise? We introduce each other at the same time. How is that? That's uh, also not what. Okay, buddy. I like the idea. I see where you're going with this. I appreciate the heart Bubble you just put into the idea. From the back. Her name's Athenia. <laughs> we get on with this. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what an interesting name. Quite pleasant. In that case, My point was, like, that's a really dumb idea is what I was trying to get with that. I don't fuck. care about saying Oh, no, my name, she's but... still talking. This is the oh. dude who sold the flask. <laughs> I completely forgot. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know that. Anyways, I am Kenthro's to a sparrow. You can call me Kenthro or Sparrow, whichever works. Why are but, you still? Why are you here? By the way, are you burning these bodies? Ah, that was what your friend started. I thought it would be rather unfitting to leave the remaining bodies to rot, so I simply finished the job that he started. Oh, do you need any help with that? No, all bodies are all here, and they will be freshly burned in a few hours. So there okay. should be nothing to worry about. Cool. I go and I hitch the horse up to the cart again. <laughs> all right, we'll be on our control? way. Do you even know where your friend went? Yeah, sure. Ask Wonton where he went. Where, uh, this, where... Hey, hey Athenia! Wonton, what's the pole? You should fight this guy, Athenia! We're in a hurry, Wonton. Wonton? We need to hurry and fight other people. The violence, Athenia! The violence! Wonton like and would get along really well. I can't hear shit. You see, Wonton, we are... We live in this world. And there were other creatures from Earth that were teleported you, here. This is the main can't. character that was isekai here. He'll kill all of us. Anyways, what did you say? So, <laughs> so, Wonton, as much as that's great, the truth goes unspoken. And we must move along. And memories are broken. Athena, if you're making some reference to something, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't know either. For some reason, this guy above me who's controlling me like a puppet is telling me to tell you these things. Anyways, let's move along, shall we? Hey, you're like a weapon, just like me! This is very accurate. Anyways, Anyways uh... So, uh, Jetstream Sam, we'll be on our way. You're the second one to say that. Interesting. It's just someone that I've heard of. I've, I've seen a gnomish play about it. Ah, so you're into that culture. Regardless. I was about to tell you anyways, but he went that way. North, northwest. Hey, I was about to say that! Yeah, I I think I knew that, but I appreciate that. Uh, what did you say your name was again, sir? Uh, uh, Kenthro. 
Kenthro. All right, Kenthro. Well, I wish you luck in burning the rest of these bodies, which I feel like was illegal, but I'll turn a side eye because they are cultists. Very obviously from the rope. Or what's left of the rose. Ah, but in some cultures, burning bodies is a great thing to send one to the afterlife. But, as I said, different norms. Also, I do have one question I'd like to ask an expert before you leave. What would that question be? Have you seen an unusual swordswoman, quite distinct looking, black hair, red stri streak in her hair? Fiora? No. That is not a name, but no. Have you seen anyone of that description? No, I wouldn't say I have. I apologize. What, what a shame. Well, regardless, I'll keep looking. And that, I will hold you no longer. Go on and save your friend, because I'm presuming that's what you're doing. I have a dragon to spar with. And that's when he gets up and starts walking. Whoa, 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 that's our dragon! Ah, but you... In what, from my knowledge, there are various tariffs and rules put in place to prevent one from simply killing a dragon. Nor claim ownership to itself or its horde, as your friend has said. So, I'd say it would be wise before you to get those papers before you even think of challenging. That is what when he starts the? moving on. Swobo, is that a thing? Well, I know that. I just kill things. I don't pay attention to whether or not I'm supposed to. Okay. Good point. <laughs> is that a thing? Uh, now, we don't have something like that in um, uh, Chaluda. So I assume they don't it's have a whole history with advantage. But also, Paxi said it, so I immediately assume it's a lie. Did he so... say that, Paxi said? Oh, yeah. Yes. He said your He's friend. like, as yes, your friend did. told me. Yep. Yeah, I forgot about it. Yeah. So, because you know for a fact that whatever Paxi said was complete and utter bullshit. It was probably yeah. like a weird Paxi attempt said to get it. Yeah, from actually trying to drive I mean, at this point, as far as I'm concerned, the entire backstory told me about... Paxi told me about, like, sleeping with a woman and her turning into a monster when he took the spear. Probably also a lie. His name's probably not even Paxi. It's probably David. The horns are fake. <laughs> All of it. Anyway. Onward. onward. Hi-ho Silver and all that. So, alright. You guys move onwards. All right. So, well, that right. happened. So for you guys, I uh, mean, well, not you guys, you guy, because Paxi's alone with some NPCs. So, Paxi, you're continuing to ride forward as you get closer to the location where you saw the, well, you saw through Scry. <laughs> As you start getting closer, that is when you hear the half-orc dude, Umra, then just says, I feel demonic energy again. It is close. Fuck. Perhaps even closer and more potent. Extra fuck. Do you want to, you know, wait for my friend's adventuring party? You chose to tug along with us. We were <laughs> going to go straight there. That's true. Do you want to not die? Because not dying is fun, characters. If our friends are here, they can make you not die. Eh, hey, it's okay. They're random NPCs. They can die. Okay. What is... Like, I, I agree we need to, you know, move quickly to save her. But as you just saw, there were several dozen cultists that were dead back there. Do you believe that you could do that? with just what we have here? It matters not what we can do. We need to get to our friend. We are willing to die for our cause. The question is, will you? Yes, if I'm not... willing to die for my cause, so long as that makes it so the cause is successful. I am not willing to die just to die. And this is where we part ways. <laughs> Okay, so these guys aren't evil, they're just smooth. That's the problem. Uh, 
Do I get a sense of, like, how powerful these people are? What do you want to do to sense that? I don't are you... know. Arcana. Are you about I want to see there? if they have any magical items on them. Alternatively, you could just do a charisma check to read the room. I mean, yeah. Is that a thing? I mean, you could ask Dylan. Read the room for what? To see, like... Don, have you ever read a room before? I have. There's a scene of the room. Like, like are these... A, I, I want to know if these are just a bunch of people that, you know, are throwing themselves up against a brick wall and hoping to make a dent, or yeah, if these so guys roll... honestly believe that they're Perception. going to... Perception. I'm not good at that. I'm good at charisma. <laughs> You're supposed to say roll charisma. Ah, oh, fuck, 13. We're dead. Uh, what would charisma be for this, then? Like, just gauging their overall confidence levels and their abilities. But is there a skill for that, besides perception? Uh, yeah, perception or insight would be the most sensible, I think. Insight would make more sense, actually. We're only insight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just as good as that as I am for switch. It's for slip Oh, hey, 14. Yeah, see? Just as good. One more. Seems like these guys hold a bit of confidence, although you can also see that they are very... Like, the half-orc guy, he seems like there's a lot of urgency that he's hiding. That you can def definitely kind of see, because even though know, he has a pretty like a good poker face, your basically intuition is a bit better. So you know that there's a bit more urgency. It's like it's not just going in there and throwing their lives away. There seems to be something where the longer they wait, more bad things happen in their mind. Is the half orc in a relationship with Manasa? Am I saving his that? girlfriend? You know what? Friend. You know what? I'm just gonna ask. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask him. What is Manasa to you? Hmm? She is a sister. No one. And she is suffering a fate worse than death. Okay. So, follow-up question then: Are we going to kill her or save her? And don't say those are two things. Two things that don't say that's the same thing. From what we've known, whenever one becomes possessed by Votros, there has been no instance where they have been freed from his control. So sadly, the only way to save her is to kill her. Oh boy. Unless you possess some sort of remnant that is able to break possession. That's when you hear morning speak up, Paxi. I don't think we have any such thing. Not to my knowledge, at least. Yeah, do you want to talk to a possessed person? I don't... I don't, I'm not sure how that... I would feel about that. Especially since that Votra's guy it does come off as kind of creepy. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't want her to die. But at the same time, do we have a choice? I mean, do we have anything else that would, like, breaking a curse work? I'm trying to think of, like, all the different remnants that the party has. Does anything come to mind? Uh, I'm assuming you're asking me that, right? Yes. I don't, I don't got shit. What am I rolling I a, for this? <laughs> I have a remnant detector and a ball. I have a shotgun. I can shotgun <laughs> the possession out of her, but I don't so, think that's what we want. I don't think in the that or a shotgun you. compels you. Yeah, do music plays in the background as you turn her head into nothing but bones, fragments, and brain. That is true. Uh, roll! Fuck, Arcana. Yeah. Nope. You have no fucking clue. Nope, nope, nope. What I got, I got this stab of fireball, your, that'll your, fix your, this. Your mind literally blinks. Would fix it. You don't remember any of the remnants right now that your your party possesses. Yeah. Um. My flask is not considered a remnant, right? It's just something that's cool. 
it is something that was made and is not classified as a remnant. Yeah. I made mean, by the Twin Stars Guild. Yeah, that's... I fucking am kicking myself that I didn't recognize that's who this dude was. Don't you mean the One Star Guild? Oh, wait, no, we fixed that. That's fine. Because <laughs> <Shut laughs> <up. laughs> oh, the one that was for a while. Oh, yeah. It's just... Too soon. And if only someone didn't attack the soldier with an axe. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want, they have no idea what that means. I think yeah. I, I think even if they don't know the story, they know that attacking the soldier with an axe. No idea. <laughs> That's a good plan. Not when your friends are in the soul jar. <laughs> right, so, Taxi, what do you do? I... I got nothing. But can we try and subdue her, maybe? Tie her up? Knock her out? Till we figure something out? Voltros uses magic of a demon. She cannot be... Or he cannot be simply subdued. Oh, buddy. Have you... If I understand, have you encountered Fultros before? We have. And on the previous cult leader's death bed, the moment he died, he dropped a glass orb with the Eye of Anagen in it. Maybe if That's we it. get that away from her, she won't be possessed? That, that is referred to as Anagen's Catalyst. Cool. It is what Voltros uses to transfer his will from one body to another. And as long as his will it has been transferred, he does not need it anymore. To say the least, it, removing it will not stop the possession, nor will destroying it. Destroying it, however, will prevent him from continuing on. And thus basically creating a permanent death. However... There's a little thing about Veltros that you do not know. With every body he possesses, he gains more powers by absorbing their abilities and qualities. Yeah. Of course, the fact that he hasn't been possessing and killing himself over and over is a mystery. But then again, I'm not surprised since they are chaotic and not right in the mind. Regardless. Either you are coming with us now, or you sit wait for your friends. It matters not to me or us. Yep, let's go. The longer we wait. <laughs> Fine. All right, and you guys continue onwards. Hey, Kes, your fine familiar spell finishes. Yep. And you can you can now cast it. From the ether appears an owl that looks like it's made of space. It's got little little dots on its joints like I do when I wild shape. It's very cute. I will I will give the owl pats, and then I will for the whole hour I'm just gonna give the owl pats. Um I am going to like send the owl up and just sort of do like like fly like uh a hundred feet over the thing, because that's how far it extends. And then I will initiate my short rest while seeing through its eyes. So me and the owl are both looking out for signs of Paxi or demons. Uh, no how fast? How fast does an owl fly? Uh, owl stat block. Uh, they have a flying speed of sixty feet. <laughs> oh, that's pretty fast. Yes. So in a walking speed of five, which is really fast for a fucking owl, but it's d, &D logic. So, and yeah, how but, fast uh, is a uh, horse? Well, I can at least have the owl flying above us, even if it, I think the horse is also... It depends on what kind of horse that block we're using, but they're 60 feet also, mostly. Alright, so you're possibly moving at the same speed, but the owl just yes. has more... Yes, the owl has the vantage point. And also, here's a fun thing. The way the spell describes it is that I can see through the owl's perception and am blinded with my real body. But while I'm doing that, the owl can still see. So me and my familiar are both looking out over the horizon. Right. Have your familiar roll perception with advantage. Okay. Well, 
Um, okay. And he, has, he, and he has a plus three to his perception rolls. Yes. Uh, does this rely on hearing or sight? I mean, this is with your sight. Well, do I roll three dice then, or just two? Just two. That, oh, you see, that's the, I pressed the wrong button. This is the right. There we go. Twenty-one. Yeah. I could say your owl, with its very keen eyes, is able to spot Paxi's group far off in the distance, pretty far. And they are, you guys are actually, since the, his group is now walking on foot, because they dismounted. You guys are getting close distance to them. Okay, so I will. Your inner group is like right over here. Okay, how mm -hmm. far away from like? Can I through the owl's perception? Can I judge how far away they are? Hmm, from where you guys are and how fast you're moving. Hmm. How fast is a horse's move at sprinting? Uh, uh, for us, I mean, a horse is sprinting at sixty, but what, well, it's 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 dash. Can you sprint multiple times? What a um, can, oh, depending on what you choose. Find steed, uh, a long lasting bond, a war. What stat block are we using, D Drew? I'm assuming the war horse. Yeah, war horse. Okay. A war horse has a speed of 60 feet. It cannot dash with a bonus action. Okay, so you're moving at 120 feet. Yes. I'd say they are about... Seeing how he... So you've been on foot for a little bit, so you guys are closing the distance very quickly. I'd say you are about 720 feet away. Okay. I'm assuming I'm not going to get my short rest in. Damn. There goes my charge. But, um, actually, okay. Considering that I, I will relay this information to my party that, like, I can, but, uh, hi, I have a familiar now. I can see my, I can see them. My familiar can see them. I am um, all right. Okay. I'm just gonna keep. Sorry, I'm gonna keep it. Or something. It's okay. So yeah, I can see them through my familiar. I tell the group, and I'm just gonna keep an eye on them through my familiar's perspective while we're riding. See how they're doing. All right. Taxi. Yep. You guys are on foot. Because they dismounted, they did not want it. while being on their steeds. They'll basically alert the presence of the other of the cult of rising darkness. Ooh. Anyways, the the members of Shen's order or whatever the hell they call themselves are already donned themselves with their silvery masks so now they don't their identities are concealed oh neat you and you that's when you can hear the one in the middle the half orc says they are close I'd like to thank reddit user uh, Mr. Valor for this map <laughs> Good job. Shut up. What? You don't want to credit people? Yeah, true. Mr. Thank you. Mr. Also, you... the fucking... They have the five-foot thing, so you know how big it's supposed to be. That's awesome. Yep. Anyway. So, Faxi. <clears throat> they are close. And yet, this is a flat piece of land, and you don't see a thing. Yeah, we were in a like a field, right? When I scribed. Yeah, yeah, you are in a field. Yep. And this looks very similar to what you saw. Not exact, but it seems like it's not that far off from the initial location. 
are we being stealthy here or are we charging in and stabbing people uh, it seems like these three are not, they're not being stealthy, but they're not charging in. Okay. Uh, fuck it. We're lighting this tree on fire. You light the tree on fire. Yeah. You are nowhere near a tree on my screen. Do I need to reload? I'm at the top. Yeah, I see you. There's a tree like over here. Yeah, I light this one on fire. Right here. Where where are you on your screen? Uh I'm moving in a square. I, I don't I see you. Like you're over here. Are uh -huh. You over here? Yeah. I mean, he's gonna okay. create a bonfire under yeah. it. Oh, I assumed you were next to the tree. I am a no, apologize. I have a cantrip. Create bonfire. I have a cantrip to produce flame. We can be Bernie buddies. <laughs> <laughs> So you, light, so you light the tree on fire. Yep. Let me grab fire token. I'm going to say I hope my friends come quickly. Little does he know, I don't need this to see him. As I, I fucking like <laughs> as zoom you, in with As you watch me light a tree on exactly. fire. <laughs> I, you, you, the party just hears me say, God damn it, Paxi. And now, Paxi, you can hear faint voices. Hey, did he just light that tree on fire? Oh, yeah, he definitely set the fire. Oh, they must be a pyromaniac on their side. Ah, this is going to be quite interesting. I, do you, I hear that, you say? Yes, they are not being quiet. These guys okay, I'm going to up. step forward real quick. I'm like, just give me a second to try something really stupid. Oh, also, if this, this might work. Can you hear through the owl as well, or only see through it? Uh, and I'm I, I'm gonna look at who I assume is the half orc because he's and here. Yep. Oh, okay. So you, so you hear his explanation for this too bad. So I'm going to say to the ha to the group. I'm like, guys, just go with me on this. And we might be able to get the drop on him. And I'll turn around, be like, "Hey guys, I found these three followers of Shen. They want to join the cause. Praise Anagen." That's where you can start hearing more whispering. Hey, he's talking just like us. I know, right? <laughs> oh, <there's some> <laughs> exactly. You might be a member of our cult. Yeah, but Lord Vulture said that one of the members kind of imitated them last time, so we are not to trust him. Oh, is that? Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm quite sure. Okay, well, in that case, let's not trust him. Yeah, let's not do that. Guys, you could totally trust me. I lost my robes out there because there was this weird wandering swordsman guy. He had black hair. It was really crazy. I've never seen anything like it. His sword was really sharp. He killed a lot of us. I ran away, but then I found these other guys, and they helped me kill him. And then, you know, I came here to help us out. They want to join, too. <laughs> I don't know. He's kind of sounds really close, I guess. Yeah, I know, right? But at the same time, though, we're told not to be trusted because of Vulture said. Yeah, at the same time. Right, but does Vulture know everything? Oh, don't let him hear you. Let, like, don't let him hear you say that because otherwise you're going to be dead. Hey guys, I oh, can I definitely hear like you, but I can't see you. Where are you? I hear a lot of whispering. I don't have an inner monologue. <laughs> Man, I think we are not know being very stealthy here. Yeah, that's right. We should probably be quiet. Yeah, let's do that. And then the talking stops. <laughs> Do they know how to stop? I'm, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna test them. Like, guys, are you still here? I can't hear you anymore. It's really weird that you divorce disappeared like that. He's not going away. No, he's not. He's <laughs> definitely still here. <laughs> it's coming from this direction. <laughs> so, are we supposed to jump on them? No, we're supposed to wait for them to get a little closer. Then we attack. Oh, I gotcha. Then you have to have a fireball, right? I look back at the group and I'm just like, it's We're not, just staring at it's you. Not fucking Don't worry, water. It looks like the half elf, she's currently muttering incantation, calling white fire to start forming between her palms. Hey, is that fire? Hey, it's kind of like ours. It's just white. Yeah, we have red fire. Oh, I wonder if that means that they're a service of Lord Shen. Lord Shen, he's supposed to be. You don't call him that. If you say that, Anagen will kill you personally. No, he won't. He's, he's all be goofy in that one plane of existence. Yeah, that's true. So are we supposed to just kill them or are they going to get the jump on us first? Oh, if we wait here long enough, eventually they will come towards us, right? Yeah, yeah but it seems like one of us preparing a spell. All right, in that case, we should probably kill them. Yeah, we should probably do. Can I light and the bush on fire? <laughs> uh, how, how close I just are we want now? The air... Shh. 
you are you guys have moved 240 feet <laughs> <laughs> the air shimmers and these four pop out of existence. <sighs> and already they have their, their ritual knives, although you notice that one of them... This guy here, he just opens his palm and blood red flame starts spewing out of it. Hey, we're here to kill you! Exactly! Hey, yeah, this make it easy for us, alright? By the way, lovely talking! Shaving are actually part of us! Roll this initiative. <sighs> I I can't I can't anymore. Oh fuck. Oh god. Hey Paxi. Yeah. Uh first of all, great role playing. Second of all, um what is your AC? <laughs> Sixteen. Understandable. Alright. I got a natural 20, by the way. Fuck. For a 21 on initiative. Uh, Athenia. What? Hello. <laughs> Roll initiative. And I'm meeting uh, you. Wait. What? We're not what? there. I know. No, Athenia is the only one rolling initiative. Because she's the one driving you guys. Oh. Okay. Oh, so you're just determining the initiative count at which we move forward. Under yes. You guys have four more rounds before you get close. You arrive, basically. Okay. If only uh, there was okay. a way initiative I could... Initiative order. Taxi. Right now, that thing, 21. You go first. Uh... Oh, are you, are you saying it's my turn, like, right now, right now? Yes. Yeah, cool. Hey, guys, watch this! Wall of Fire! <laughs> They are kind of conveniently placed, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> How many? So, th f dex A for each? 17. All fail. Oh, God. What is Wall of Fire? Ugh. I'm assuming because it's coming from an item, it doesn't pay attention to my warlock stuff. So it's just... probably not. Okay, so just for the... so uh, that's five d eight. It goes sixty feet long. Woof! So I can easily cover all of them. All right. So how much damage do they all take? Uh, oh, 5d8. Well, they're all dead. Aw, oh, it's not that great. 19? Alright, they all get hurt pretty bad. Although, it seems like they are kind of resistant to it. No, I don't like that. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Yeah. All right, is that your turn? Uh, do I notice that they are not burning alive instantaneously? You know, they are getting scorched, but you notice that their bodies seem to be not combusting quite as, fr like, much as a normal person would. So I'm gonna back up 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Nah, we're gonna go farther. 30. <laughs> I'm gonna say, uh, fire might not be the best option. Good thing their fire does radiant damage, right, Dylan? No. Hmm. All right, next is gonna be this guy, 5, 10, 15. He's going to extend his hands outwards. He mutters an incantation, and then he closes it, and his arms both become wreathed in flames. <laughs> so, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's going to stop there. His turn. So he's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He mutters incantation, and then he's going to jump to right over here 
with a burst of flames, and then he's going to kick this guy. Kick! That's a direct hit. And his culture is going to get hit right in the head. Alright, her turn. She's going to finish her incantation and he's going to throw what's basically a fireball of white flames. And these three guys fail. And. He's dead. He's dead. And he's dead. Okay, then that works too. This guy's turn. <laughs> he's just gonna like, Hey, you killed my friends! Anyways, I got gotcha. you. Walk through the wall hand. of fire. Walk through it. He's not. <laughs> he's slamming his fist forward. He's gonna unleash a cone of fire. Mm. Instead of her burning hand, he has burning talk too much. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have to pity laugh at it, Dylan. It wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, they, they both make a save and they both fail, so they both take fire damage. And with that, you hear more voices, Faxi. Hey, they're actually kicking their a our asses. Yeah, we, should we join in or should we watch them the sidelines? Well, maybe we should probably help them out, you know? They make it more fair on for us, you know? Otherwise, you're just going to get wiped out like last time. Yeah, that would be very unfortunate. We guys really just started this cult. And so... Oh, no. They're in themselves. Wave combat. Anyways, uh, Athenia, you move 120 feet. Nice. You Thank you for having my, for giving me my turn. You are three rounds away. Or uh, three hundred. Sure, we'll make away. it there in time. Anyways, top initial order. Paxi. Uh, what did this what did this guy do that's standing next to me? Uh, she basically cast a fireball, but with white flames, and killed three guys with it. Oh. So, Baxi, what are you doing? Uh, I will go over here and I will shoot this guy, the uh, one kind of closest to us on that flanking. I'll shoot him twice. All right. Uh, 23 to hit, 14 damage. Alright, yep, 23 hits. And 21 to hit, 15 damage. So, 20 damage total, he is very hurt. Is that your turn? So, he took a total of 29 total? Yes, and okay. he's very hurt. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. That's my turn. Hmm. All right. With that, it is this guy's turn. He's gonna go five, ten, fifteen. Does wall of fire hit everyone who goes through it? Uh, there's a cold side and a hot side. So another. Oh, and that guy out. ended his turn there. He should be absolutely crisped. Oh. Yeah, it's ten feet out from the hot side. Mm -hmm. So in other words, roll damage. Visible. 
Uh, 18. Alright, so he takes half that. He's still alive. Damn. So, 5, 10... So, 10 feet from the hot side, so is he too close to enough wall of fire? No, 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 the hot side is pointing south, so... Okay, so he goes right here. Yeah. He's now, he's going to attack him by punching forward and causing flames to erupt. Cool. He misses, and he hits. Roll damage, and this guy dies. Yay, we like dead guys. All right, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's his turn. She is going to go 5, 10, 15. She's got oh, fire still there. <laughs> the fire is animate and elemental. Uh, to the front. There we go. Anyways, she's going to stop. She's going to start muttering an incantation to power up a spell. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This guy's turns. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Gonna stop here. This guy's gonna run off over here. All right, Athenia. Hello. You are now 240 feet away. Cool. Taxi. Um, Dylan. <clears throat> What's up? I just want to say, as we're getting closer, my owl's height is descending, so that they are at participate in the fight height. Oh. They're gonna be like 10 feet above the combat, rather than 100 feet. So I can actually use them during the fight. And I'll shoot this guy twice again. Gotcha. Twenty-one to hit. Fourteen damage. Dead yet? Yeah, he's dead. All right. Next. Uh, bottom guy. Fifteen to hit. Barely misses. That's my turn. Alright. With that, up next is... Orc dude. He's gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20. He's going to kick him twice. And a hit. And a hit. Roll for damage. He's still alive. Barely. She is going to finish casting her spell and she's going to shoot out three rays of white flame. One at this guy and two at this guy. Alright. That's a hit. This guy dies, and this guy's alive. Their turns. He's just go. He's gonna go five, ten. Hey, you probably should stop fighting. Oh, they're just currently kicking our butts right now. You just hear more voices going. What? I thought we were supposed to be hiding here till I get closer. Yeah, I know, right? They, they're not telling us shit. So, this guy appears right here. This guy appears right here. This guy right here is right here. And that's when you hear one shot saying, Hey, they should really hurry up with the ritual. I know, right? We're kind of being uh, having our asses hated right here. Yeah. So. Athenia. Hello. 120 feet away. Okay. We're going to be Pat in range next turn. So this is the time Taxi. for everyone to use their actions to get ready for combat. See more right, guys taxi. showed up. Oh, uh, and they also mentioned something about a ritual. Yeah, we don't like rituals. Uh... Is this the round where I click my boots together and jump off the cart and start outriding the horse? You would be. Uh, how? What is your maximum speed? Like just normal one action. Uh, without without the boots, forty. With the boots, eighty. Okay. Uh, if <laughs> if you dash. We're 120 feet away, right? Yes. If you dashed, you would be able to move 40 feet inside of the map. If you so, did the 
Yeah, it's whatever. I everyone roll. In the, I just want everyone roll initiative. Okay. You're putting me again, or no? You're, you'll be keeping your initiative, Athena. Roach. Your your shitty shitty initiative. All right, um, cool. I'm going to reach down. Is there anything left of the? I, I want to take a vial of blood from this dude. Is there anything left of him? Yes. Okay. Man, both my rolls are bad. Well, I take a vial of blood and I say, I hope this doesn't ruin our good friendship. And then my eyes roll back into my head and I say, I summon you, Grigna. Right in the middle let, of these fuckers. <laughs> let the record show that Packy does not have to do this. He simply chooses to. Yep. Doing Ooh, this human blood. This nothing. gives me an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never waste good human blood. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Getting to think he might be a vampire. Also, ne never waste the opportunity to add more friendly tokens to the field. Also, wait, what to- uh, is he a huge yeah. size or a large? He's large. Baller gorilla. Yeah. You just hear him come out, you start shouting in Abyssal, which you can understand Pax because you're a pack. NOT AGAIN! I say, don't play with your food! <laughs> he just starts looking at these three- these cultists around him. Yeah, you are dead! Hey, aren't we on the same side because you're a demon? Yeah, I know, right? Maybe- <laughs> so let me pull up the fucking stat block. I got it. If you want well, me to roll for oh, it. Yep. All right. Roll to attack, Taxi. You're controlling him for now. Cool. Recklessly multi attack. Three attacks. Yeah, he's, he, he's attacking. He's attacking this guy first, though. So, All right. The wounded one. He's still rolling recklessly. <laughs> yep. Twenty two to hit. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> He's like, I know, right? Aren't you under the <laughs> Just he bites just his head, head fucking... off, just chop. No. <laughs> he no, he just fucking punches his head to the point that where was the wrong buttons. No, it was a bite. He bit him. Oh, okay, he bit his fucking head off and spat it out. Okay, next behind him. <laughs> Alright. Twenty one to hit. Ten damage. Yep. And for his final attack. <laughs> God, these things are really scary. 22 to hit. Oh, only 5 damage. Alright, this guy's hurt. So that is 15 damage total. Yep. That's your turn. I'm gonna back up 5 feet. <laughs> that's, all I got, that's all I got left. Alright, uh... This guy doesn't seem too happy right now, but he's kind of focused on killing cultists or trying to reach them because they keep dying before he reaches them. I shrug. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. That's his max movement with the sprint. Okay, I, he, 5, he 10, really 15, 15, 25, 30, 30, 35, 40. really should have waited. Giant demon gorilla. You can make the demon gorilla not kill him, I think. Yeah. That's, that's their turns. Try. Ankus, you're 120 feet away. Uh, do you have me on the initiative count? Yes. Okay. Do you have my owl on the initiative count? It's also, I'm sure it's the same, right? No, uh, they have a different turn than me. Oh. Uh, so in other words... Three, she rolled a three. So, lower than Athenia. The literal bottom. Gotcha. Um, let me see. 120 feet away from... Wait a minute. Okay, the range is 120 feet. What is the... Okay, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have I have something stupid I can do here. Okay, so would you, so you would say the edge of the map, like these tiles, are 120 feet or 125 feet away from me. Would you say that? E yes. Okay. Um... Good, good, um, good. Um, can I, can I see, is this area flat enough that I can see the ball grog grog grog? Which is what that creature is yes. called. Okay. That's, that's real good to know. 
And it's a good thing that I have a spell with a casting range of, uh, of 300 feet. Um, 20 foot radius, 40 foot high. So, okay, 20 foot radius is a 40 foot cylinder. So it's like, I have friends though. So I'm gonna like, I put it like here-ish. So it only hits the demon and the two cultists. And I'll cast oh, Ice on. Storm. <laughs> What? Like the demon. demon has so much health, and also is a demon. He actually doesn't, but okay. He, wait, he's a demon. He probably resists fire or something. It's cold damage. Um. No. Do, do you actually not want me to attack the demon, Taxi? No, go for it. Okay. It, I mean, this demon could I'm... not possibly hate Paxi any more than he already does. What is it? I mean, matter? there's so much blood around here. You could get another one. <laughs> I'm honestly trying yeah, to be nice one. to the demon for once, but you know. Well then, uh, you know, I'll take this hit. I don't I can... think he could hate you anymore. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay, so the so like the bottom like this guy, I'm on the wrong. Cool. These three also, in know, this area, a... you see them? I'm picking, Dylan. Those three. Yep. You see them? Okay. They all have to make DC 17 dexterity saving throws. They both fail. Okay, Paxi, does your friend... We'll worry about that later. Uh, you're not at the table right now. Okay, so on a failure, they take... Let me, let me mark off the spell slot. Um, it is. It doesn't roll easily, which bothers me. 2d8, 46. Okay, so they take uh, 2d8 bludgeoning. So 11 bludgeoning, 14 cold. All three, of, or both of the ones that fail. And that area is difficult terrain until... How much damage total? Uh, 28, or 25 damage total. Yeah, on a fail. Dead. Just get bludgeoned to death by fucking ice. Yep. Okay, then. Um, my owl... Oh, it's not mine, right. I use the rest of my action to do nothing. Alright. Athenia. Hello. Your full movement allows you to arrive right here. I need to zoom the fuck out. This map is fucking huge. We're at the top. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, everything is dead. As you, you can guys. see. I, I don't do anything. Because that's my maximum movement, isn't it? No, it's your horse's turn. Do, does you Paxi notice Well, 5, 10, 15, 20, and I start to unhitch the horse. How many turns? Well, I don't know how long. Well, that should be just an action, right? It probably says it somewhere, but an action works, and mounting it is part of your Let me move. read it. Let me read. Um, uh, Paxi, roll. When you get back, roll a deck save for your demon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm just gonna say this at this point. You know, some there's some shivering that slowly disperses and reveals these guys here. Yeah, there. Oh, is. fun. Yeah. Oh, it's eight dudes. Hold on. Uh, there's also something in the middle. Man, there's so many invisibles. Oh, a portal. A swirling sphere of energy, and you notice these guys have blood seeping out of them that's flowing into this rift. Oh, they're doing blood rituals. Fun. They're a oh, Paxi, they're gonna summon demons, they're gonna do you! Uh, oh, yeah, he you... failed. What's the damage? He takes 25 damage. 11 bludgeoning, 14 cold. If it matters. 25? Yes. I straight up killed two of the cultists. Okay. I need to stop attacking my allies. Well, it's a demon, it's not my ally. I need to stop doing that, though. I should have fewer AoE spells. But conversely, you all should stop standing in my way. Yeah, that's that's the extent of my turn. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh... Athena, you're not doing anything? Well, I told you what I did. I, oh, yeah, I said that I was unhitching the, dismounting okay. and unhitching the cart. All right, owl. So, Can I... cares, but... 
I created like an owl. Rolling an at 20 somehow results in me going last. Uh, make an owl. T make another A cast token, but name it owl. That would be funny. No, I was or just going to. Familiar. Oh, this is going to be big for a moment because it's a new token, but I'll shrink it down to appropriate size. Okay. If it doesn't take up the whole map, I'm going to be mad. Oh my god, that's huge. That is, that, it is actually huge. It was three by three. There you go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let have, me oh, go to oh. settings, controlled by Acas. All right. Nice. Okay. I am going, okay. Uh. Are any is this entity this entity or this entity or this entity? Is anyone injured? Are, have any of my teammates taken damage? Uh, well, some of these rogue individuals took some damage, but these two are kind of hurt. But that's but our, uh, okay. So the the two people who are the two martial characters, they took yeah. damage. Okay. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 15, 110, 1, 15, 120. Wait, I use my, that? that is my owl. Uh... I do not have a use for my bonus action, so my owl is just going to fly in range to participate in shenanigans with a dash, and that is the owl's turn. All right. So with this, these cults are going to act before initiative reset. Also, it's kind of funny. Swope roll, 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 roll natural twenty, and he does end up yeah. going last. Yeah, that's. I mean, yeah, he technically goes earlier. just first, but. I, I, I rolled a nat 20 and it results in me going dead last. Relative. Oh, he's resistant to cold. Oh, so he only takes seven cold damage. See, it was all a good plan then. <laughs> he could have taken a quarter damage. All right, yeah, we're good with this. So, these four cultists basically kill themselves while casting this ritual. Like what? That. And, the, and then the rifts basically expand outwards. Nah, I don't like that. I'd be yeah, I don't like that. Ooh, I like this. Oh, it's like uh, a little... Hey, Atania, go punch those guys. They look really cool. And you yeah. see two bird-like humanoid creatures erupt in a burst of flames. I don't like that. And... Uh, <sighs> these guys are going to go f five... Yeah, they're screeching, speaking in a language that no one understands. And they're also cackling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's not going to leap into the air and start flying with 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. He's going to stop right here. And they are about 15 feet up in the air. Top of initial order, Swobo. Yeah, they're 15 feet up in the air, oh damn. What the hell did Swobo roll? Oh, natural 20. A natural 20. <laughs> it's top of initial order. <laughs> yeah. Too bad we got here after the top of the initiative order. Uh, let's see here. I guess I'll just, these guys are up in the air, god damn it. I'll just sprint at them. Actually, can make you fly with his one remaining spell slot. I'm All right. currently holding concentration. As on far as I can run. Oh, good point. Oh shit! The wall of fire is gone. Point of order. <laughs> Summoning a demon. Eh, it holds my concentration. Also, these guys are dead. Well, no, they're not. Also, Swobo. Now you've gotten closer, you can see there's more further down. Oh, wonderful. Let me continue revealing them. Oh, 
no, more. Oh no, they're gonna be summoning a big circle. Alright, I guess I might as well click my boots at the end of that sprint then, in preparation. Come on, where are you, to little token? I have you for a reason. Here we go. Dad, expand it a little bit. Here we go. So, is that your turn, Swole, though? Mm-hmm. All right, Paxi. Oh, boy. Uh, range 150, you say? Oh, no. <laughs> yes! Or Wall of Fires, 120. Um... How big is a fireball? Wall of fire makes your demon go away, though. No, I would. Wait, does it make it go away, or does it just make you lose control? Oh yeah, it would, uh, that's a very fair point. Probably should. <laughs> Twenty foot radius. It would be lose control. Oh no! All of these guys are in range of a fireball, Dylan. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, well, fireball is fireball is in concentration, Paxi. No, it's not. All right, fireball. They do resist Fireball fire is damage, an incredibly so. broken spell for its level. Yes, that is the idea. Wow. Right. That's, That's, good. Good That's 28 damage. That's good damage. That's 14 damage if they fail. 17 dexterity. That's a lot of saves that they make. Alright, so... These two here, not 20 These two succeed. Oof. These two fail, and these two fail. Okay. Well, you still thin them out. It was 28 damage. So these guys take no damage. These guys take 7 damage. And these guys each take 14. Alright. Everybody's still alive? Yep. Cool. Don't worry, I can fix so that. So now the demon makes a save, right? He has to beat your casting save, AC? Uh, yeah, hold on. I make the save. If we get killed he rolled by a, a four and a six. <laughs> I make the save. Oh come on! He rolled a four and a six. Ah, uh, looks like he rolled a twenty and a twenty-one. What's this? What's uh? It's with disadvantage, correct? Yes, seventeen. So, so that would be a twelve. So he fails. Cool. Jesus, that's that's close for comfort, Paxi. Well, I'm gonna tell him, Greg, now go fuck up that summoning. <laughs> what he's gonna do now? He's gonna get hit by another ice storm. You know this, right? Well, see, the really cool thing he can do is a running leap out of... Wait, is it only difficult terrain... Is it difficult terrain right now? It, uh, until the start of my next turn, this, like... It's a 40-foot cylinder, so it'd be, like... Like, around here is difficult terrain. Okay, well, he can jump that far. He can jump 40 okay. feet. Uh, so yes. can he jump to right here, this top corner, Dylan? Uh, how fast is his jump? His Come jump on. is 40 feet. Oh. It's either 20 feet up or 40 feet wide. Oh, yeah, he can get to there, I guess. Does it have to be like a running long jump, or is it just a long jump? Long jump. Yeah, it's running leap. How does long jump work? Uh, strength. They have to have a running start. Long jump. You make cover number of feet up to your strength score if you move at least 10 foot. Huh? 10 feet on foot from you. It just says the Bulgara's long jump is up to 40 feet. And so its you high jump to, is 20 feet, with a so running you have start. To get that, you have to get that 10 foot running start, which would take 20 feet of your movement. Also, jumps cannot exceed your normal movement, unless otherwise stated. He has up to 40 feet speed running. So he can he can run out of the... 
So it's basically. Or whatever. So I guess it's just only 40 feet then. You can't like move and then get an extra jump. So how far can he get? He can dash. 40 feet or 80 feet if he dashes. So he can move 40 feet. He yes. can essentially ignore the difficult terrain. So he can get to this. He can get to this square. Yes. Yes. Okay. Can I cannot move him. You can move him. Oh. Or controlled by Dane. All right. Blip. I like to think he comes up to this guy. He's got like the uh, the the smile from the shark from Finding Nemo. He's just like, hello. And then he bites this guy's head off. <laughs> All right, throw the bite. Recklessly. Natural 20. 18 damage. 18 damage. He's still. alive still, barely. I can fix that. Uh, then he gets the punch of twice. 23 to hit. That's a hit. 11 damage. He is dead. And he will pee on the leg of the one out of range. The what the fuck? <laughs> I don't. I don't like that. No, well, I don't want to think about demon piss. So we're not. It's probably acidic or something. So we're gonna kill the guy. <laughs> Anyways, that's my turn. This guy's gonna beat the shit out of his last remaining cultist in this area. Right, he has a hit, and yep, he successfully beats the shit out of him. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He goes right here. She's gonna position right here, and she's gonna start preparing to cast a spell. Ah. Uh... Colt's turn. Uh oh. All these guys are going to die now. Oh, I wanted to freeze them to death. But I hit him with a fireball. <laughs> and I killed seems one. Seems like kill you killed one of them, but seems like that wasn't enough to disrupt the ritual. If only I'd rolled higher. I. We have to see the token that's going to come out of it, at least. Exactly. Otherwise, he, he, what is the hmm? point of Dylan making the token in the first place? What's the point of me being here if I don't get to run in and recklessly attack the strongest thing on the battlefield? Precisely. You just fought a bunch of chumps, basically. Adds. And then... Hold on. Erupting out of this little portal, not really little, it's decent size, it's a large size. Come on, finish loading. Here we go. Alright, and erupting out is a large serpentine creature with a humanoid upper. Or so in a lot of arms. Oh. As long as it's not flying, I'm happy. She's not flying, but she is armed with six weapons in each hand. Well, each hand had a what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> She's got six arms. Each shut one up. is six shut up. Thirty-six <laughs> weapons. I don't know what I mean. Attacks. Thirty-six attacks every turn. Oh, oh we God. have no chance. Let's run away. And she is going to just glare at you. Oh, we're at. The Bulgora and hiss something. And then this guy's gonna speak back and talk so you can understand him. I've got no choice! But you will die anyways! And then she just laughs and responds. There. Uh. Now it's, it's these guys' turns. So this guy is going to stop and he's gonna fly over and land on, right in front of you, Swaldo. What a fool. What an Ooh. idiot. What a moron. And this guy is going to stop and land right in front of Paxi. This guy Goodbye, saved Paxi. me the trouble. 
Solo! Solo! Hi. He's gonna let out a loud shriek. Make a constitution save. Oh boy. That thing you're good at. Meh. You succeed. You resist it. That's his turn. This guy, on the other hand, is also gonna shriek. Baxi, make a save. Constitution. Okay. And also, I guess the owl makes the save. Nah, Why did I do that? Why am I an idiot? I'm a fool! God damn it! I'm a moron! I you have saved. I have failed as save. You are stunned. Oh, that's not please, good. please don't. Oh. And, and I'm the owl. owl is stunned. My owl is stunned. That's I have so many fucking tabs open with all these creature stats. I, it's annoying. I well, I have Dylan. I had to have a tab open for my owl along with my character, so have some compassion. No. Fuck you. Anyways. No, you can put the owl in your extras, right? Now it's, just, now it's a snake person's turn, so he's gonna slither up to this guy. Wait, Dylan, was the, the thing that attacked me that failed, was it trying to stun me? Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Let it try again. I got a ring. Oh, you can't be stunned. <laughs> Well, he's still doing it anyways. Oh, uh, I can't be... I can't have my speed reduced or be paralyzed or restrained. I guess not stunned for some reason. Huh. Oh, well. No, don't hit the Bulgura. Not my meat shield. She is going to attack him six times. Yeah, there it is. There's the uh... blender. Hold on, hold on. Maybe when these guys see a giant fire monkey get blendered into paste, they'll 21. think twice. 21 hits. Alright. 17 slashing. Oh no. 14. 14 does not hit. Oh wait. 21. Okay, 17. Hold on. 21 hits, yeah. 9 slashing. Okay, that's cool. 23. 18 okay. slashing. 18? Stop that. <laughs> roll, 26. Roll lower. Uh, yes, that hits. 18 slashing. Jesus. Oh, goodbye. Well, it was nice knowing and you. And then 27. Nope. 16 slashing. No need. He's dead. <laughs> and Molt. he just... And he disappears. Uh, you know, I agree. No. His body turned to ash. We'll see you soon when I pick the blood out of this other corpse. 15. Okay, so no, that's, uh, she was right here. So. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Well, at a certain point, 35, this campaign is just going to be us defending Paxi from the hordes of demons who now hate him and want him dead. <laughs> yeah, that is. All right. That's what's the next story arc. <laughs> All right. Akes, your turn. The king of the You're demons right. wants revenge for torturing one of his subjects, and all um, of the demons want to kill you now. Okay, uh, uh, Athenia, Drew, can you help me with something? No. Okay. Sure. And more than one person ride your horse. Uh, it's a war horse, so probably. Okay. And a, a 20 foot tall blue man ride your horse anyway. I'm not 20 feet tall, and I'm not blue. I'm. Five, I'm uh, like three 18, feet tall. 20, you're all the same to me. I don't know. How much does 20, your character five. weigh? I should have. Sorry, I'm two feet tall. Uh, I don't actually have a weight. Okay, we're gonna have to spend some time rules lawyering. Give me a second. It's uh, not rules lawyering. I don't think. No, we're, we're gonna spend some time fucking articulating. That's what's gonna happen. Races. Sure. Uh, where is racist? Race is. Racist. Uh, race, oh, race are you trying to fun. see how much a warhorse can carry? Well, not, not just that, but we need to see how heavy... Uh... I never wrote down a weight for ACAS, but I'm going to say around, like, 250. Can it not I carry mean, the both of us? You're a fucking stick. Yeah, like, actually, yeah, I mean, it does make sense. He would be pretty skinny, probably. Fur balls are between 78 feet tall and 240 and 300 pounds. Okay. Size. Wow, they are tight. They are fucking twigs. <laughs> they are. 
So what you're, so what I'm hearing is uh, go for the ankles. And yeah. yet somehow I'm two foot tall, thirty pounds, and stronger than him. Well, it's because your number is bigger. Um, exactly. So can we both get on your horse, Athenia? Ah, uh, yes. Sure. Okay. Um, I'm slower than horse, so I will mount up on horse. I will. Uh, how far away is this fucker? Close. Okay. I'm going to do Galaxy Brain, and I'm going to use my action to temporarily miss my owl and put them over here, because they're not helpful to me stunned. And I'm going to use my bonus action to expend my other wild shape charge and activate my starry form and shoot the one that's next to Paxi, because it will eat him. The 14 hit. Uh, the, the flying game. One? Uh, 14 does not hit. Barely doesn't. Un unfortunate. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna get on it. I'm gonna get on the back of Athenia's horse, and wait for her to get on. All right. I, uh, I use Athenia. my action, bonus action, and my, and my uh, move. Can I mount the horse yet? Have okay. I unhitched the horse? Yes. All right, I climb my horse for half of my movement. Wait, does my horse have a separate movement? Yes. <sighs> uh, I mean, the, okay. well, the horse has a different movement speed to you. So okay, I would assume so... they are different values. Um, is that thing in the air? No, they have both landed. Okay, they both landed. Uh... All right, I mount the horse, and my horse moves 60 feet towards it, and I cast the blender. Remember, you can control horse. One second, then. Gotta... Fuck. Wrong controls. Come on. And, and I'm right there. What? Okay. Yep. This man thinks I need help in combat. It's not about whether you need help or not. It's the only one I can reach. <laughs> don't worry, Maxi. We'll save you next turn. So, yeah, the blender is cast. Don't yeah, don't worry. It'll be dead by All then. All right. That's your turn? Uh, well, so... is it... Oh, yeah, it's not when I enter the range. So, yeah, I have to wait for their turn. All right. Owl is stunned. Dodge. They make their save. Do, do they get a repeat save? Why is the owl right all the way back here? It should be right here. Because I dismissed them. Oh. Tempor I, I temporarily, as an action, temporarily sent them. Oh, that's them what you did. Okay. Action. Yes. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna bring. No, I'm. I, I oh. can bring them back. I temporarily dismissed Actually, them. Actually, before Swolbo goes, you can hear some laughing oh. coming come from this rock. And steps up is a familiar rock? and unfamiliar face. Oh. Wait, here? Oh right, yeah, right, right there. Bottom. Next to the next to the credit. Oh look at here. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Same people who came and messed up my cult. Well, I have a new noise cult with lots more members and oh new rituals bestowed upon me by Lord Anakin. How do you like my new allies? Marilith, dear she immediately hisses to him in some sort of language that no one understands. Yes, yes, vent your frustrations on these fools who wish to oppose them. <laughs> Anyways, please kindly die. Jesus. Swalbo. Oh boy. Dylan. Uh, what? Do I make a repeat save on my owl? No. Okay, I just done. I get angry and go behind the thing. Alright. I'm flanking it for me, right? Yes. All right, cool. Then uh, the yeah. I will attack recklessly. Oh, what's it gonna be? Crit. Nice. Okay, let's see here. That's go. Oh, God, there's so many numbers. Okay, so that is going to be. 
Um. Oh, my brutal critical is a one. That's unfortunate. Uh, so that is going to be. Okay. That's just that's 24, 25, 50 damage. Fifty? Fifty. <laughs> Five zero. Five zero. You effectively zero. did half of his health in one blow. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. I just need another crit so I can finish it off then. Shut up. <laughs> I rolled, uh, that was... Just wait until the paladin crits. Come on, get And that was, Fair. what, a... Overall uh, decent roll, I guess? So roll to hit... Uh, unless you already roll again? Because I didn't uh, see... No, 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 that was the first attack. Okay, roll it again. Okay, roll recklessly again. 23, I'm sure, hits. Yes. And that will be uh, 13 damage. Okay. And that's it. That, okay, Paxi, you are stunned. You're right. But you, now you are no longer stunned. Uh, this guy. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait, no, he's Five, ten, he's going... No, no. He's not going to go for the Marilith. He's going to go straight for Voshos. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. He's going to punch her with her... His, uh, reach. Or him. That's a miss. And that's a miss. Literally, the tiefling, the possessed tiefling is just moving like, oh, you need to be faster. Just like winging her body side to side. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. He's going to teleport a burst of flame to the other side to kick her. What the fuck class is this? The kick class? Kangaroo? Yeah, and he misses, still. Jeez. 5, 10, 15, 20. She's gonna cast the spell she stayed by firing three rays at the Votros. All three hit. Yeah, and she gets burned. And that's their turn. It is now the demons. Well, let's see if this, one or both of our allies die. This one's going to attack Paxi. And he since he's he's no longer stunned. Wait, With hold on. With advantage. To the end of the Vrox Dex turn. So in other words, you're still stunned, oh, Paxi. Oh god! Oh fuck, Paxi, you're gonna die! You're gonna get is that a, those are, are those automatic no, no. crits? It's not paralyzed. It's ah. stopped. <laughs> yes. Okay. In that case, Paxi, you take seven piercing because that's an over twenty. Ouch. From what he, he's basically stabbing you with his beak, and now he's going to attack you with his talons. Stop that. That's a crit. Oh no! You take eighteen slashing. Paxi, no. All right, this guy here. He uh, is going he has to make two. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. You make two wisdom saves. Okay, fine, but he makes them with advantage. He seems to be rather resistant to magic. You can only be resistant to magic for so long. That is true. So. Has to beat an 18. Wisdom, you said? Yeah, wisdom. Uh. That is a 19. Okay. Success on the first one. And that is a 22. Okay. One second. Oh, I gotta actually write this down, don't I? Okay. That is that one. So 11. Eight, so 19 damage. Okay. So so he takes half of it. So yeah, 11. And you said how much? Eight. 
So 19. Yeah. Okay. 19 total. I already did the math. All right. For that. Now he's going to basically extend his outwards, and he's going to release a cloud of spores. The Don't four do that. Horse, horse included rolls Constitution. Good. Uh, I'm right next to Athena. Horse make. God, I gotta pull up the horse's stat block. Natural twenty. You are completely resistant to the effects. Good thing I at least I rolled one good night. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. The horse okay. is in. The Athena, you succeed. Swalbo. No, I didn't roll yet. Oh, what's the suit? Oh, those are damage. All right. Oh, wait, you said roll. Constitution. Constitution. You succeed. Oh, I'm Athena. not close enough to Athena, darn. You succeed. I'm fine, though. Uh, horse yeah. succeeds. All of you succeed. Nothing Good. happens. Okay. <laughs> Get fucked. Get fucked, loser. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Can I use my reaction to flip him off? He's kind of already flipped out already. <laughs> I like how Ink has rolled a nat 20, and yet we both still outrolled him. <laughs> I mean, technically, if you add the six, I'm still, oh, yeah. I, 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 then I do, but, but you don't have the six. Your modifier is yeah. higher than mine, even when oh. I am right next to Athenia. I have very low stats. Didn't roll well when I was making Akis. Okay, so, Dylan, how many of our friends die? Rolling damage. So... She swings with five of her swords, slashing at this guy fast so you guys can blink, and when she stops, he is nothing but shreds. Well, that's not ideal. That's fucked. Now she's going to attack him with her remaining sword. That's a hit. She's not done, though. Now she's going to slap him with her tail. Why do you have so many attacks? Alright. So he is now grappled as she basically wraps herself around him. And he's not looking good. Then... Yeah, Alright, so with that, uh, hey, Kiss. One second, I'm metagaming. What the fuck is that? I, I need to Google a word. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, um, I want <clears throat> to. Okay. Uh, 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 I use my talk action to say Athenia. Hello. I need you to no, get. You don't. I, okay. I I need to get into touch range of the tiefling. What's her name? Lady. Uh, uh, Manala or Manala. Votro yeah. or Votros. I need you to get. I need you to get me in touch range of Votros. Can, can you? Can I? I can I have the horse? I would also prefer if you stood next to me and let me dictate the horse, but... My horse I... can dash with me Actually, on it. Okay. Do you want the blender? That can also heal? No, 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 no. I... Okay, so here's the thing. Like, pause for a moment. I can cast a spell that might be able to save her. It has a range of touch. I would love my familiar to be able to catch it, but I would use my action to summon her. Which I can't do. And what if I do, I'll then I can't get you. No. I mean, if you're talking the horse goes on my turn. If that's what you mean. Paxi. Paxi. The only issue though is that I can't get to you and hold my action at the same time. But I can uh, if I can uh, excuse me, Athenia. Five ten. Oh, in yeah, 20, I can't get that far 25. either. I can get close. 30. It's gonna oh. be the next turn. Okay. Well, you know what? I I, I like this plan better. <coughs> I, wait, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty-five. 
Wait, no. What? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, I, I cannot flank him. Actually, Dylan, does this count as flanking? This, where I'm standing right now, is Paxi flanking him for me? Mm, if you use range attacks, it works for you, but not for Paxi. Eh, fuck Paxi. Um. Pause. Yeah, yeah, fuck him. <laughs> you know what? I. I kind of want to do it, but it's a cone, and I think it would hit Paxi, so I'm not going to do it. I'm just <laughs> I'm going so to, um... Uh, Stop I'm attacking your allies! That's why I'm not doing it! Um, Guiding Bolt! <laughs> Guiding Bolt! Uh... I need to attack a second time. Guiding Bolt! Does the 17 hit him? Oh, I... Oh, wait, I rolled three times. Is it yes, 20? A 20 hits. Okay. Oh, God. Radiant damage! It says you did 17 radiant damage with that roll, though. I... Oh! I wasn't even focusing. Okay, yes. 17, oh, 17. radiant damage. Sorry. Okay. And then... Uh, and then I have I have a bonus action! Uh, so... Quarterstaff, produce flame, ice... Uh, buh, 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 buh. There it is! Pew! I need to roll a second time. Pew! On who? Uh, I'm, I'm attacking him again. Alright. Uh, we shoot three yep, we shoot three times actually. Because right. you have double damage. No, no right, so nine nine damage. Hey guess if this doesn't work, you and I are both dead. Uh well, here's the thing. Uh okay, how many spell slots you got left? After that? Yes, after you after high five. None. Okay, you're dead. I have Misty Stab. <laughs> All right, uh, is that your turn, Akes? That is my turn. Athenia. Hello. Your your turn. What do you do? Hey. Uh, so, could could you kind of tell what just happened? Because I was having a conversation with somebody, and then suddenly I hear people who are dying, and then for some reason Akes decided to leave me for a high five. Okay. And I uh, hear Paxi out of spell slots. Uh, just give me a quick multi arm snake lady turned decided to become her own blunder and absolutely killed the half orc dude. And the other guy that the human who doing the kicking is now being grappled and about to be tur turned into shreds. I guess well, went off to the side. Get there. What? I'm there on my horse. The, okay. the rock is going to get an attack of opportunity on you. I don't give a shit. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Uh, dash with the, the horse can dash 120 feet. Oh I don't know why you guys didn't think this. No, I tried to, but then Paxi said high five, and then I. I 25 I, to hit? He was enthusiastic 25. about it, and I really should learn to stop uh, on 25 hits. Him, but you take 16 slashing. Okay, so. I, I honestly think. Does he I take 16 slashing? It's or the or charisma, the baby. Nobody can resist okay, this. Yeah. Mm. I do. <laughs> it, really All right, right, I save. I'm still a blender. Guess who gets off? I cast for Vivify. Do you have a diamond worth 300 gold pieces? Yes, I do. Wait, the dude's Holy in, shit. The dude's in pieces? Wait, yeah, is he? No. Yeah, he got, he, he got minced. Oh, well, I can't do that then. Okay. How many fucking 300 gold piece diamonds? When did you get these? Was this when you were in the <laughs> well, Dragon's Court okay. and I was AFK? Uh, how many pieces is this guy in? Yeah. Uh, uh, Dylan? Drew. He's, Drew. In, he's in five pieces. Ah. Uh, Ooh, five. I put them together like a Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's All right, in that case, I get back on my horse. <laughs> true, true, I, 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 I mean, I can have you revoke that move, too, because you didn't see what his horse looked like. Yeah. yeah. No, his, yeah it's... You, you just, in that case, you healed 25 health if you did not take, run off. What do you mean 25 health? I took 16, no. you said. No, so you healed 20, 16, that's what I meant. If, no, no, but no, no, fight the demon lady. I will fight, fight the demon lady. Yeah, Wait, okay, in that case, you do. Yeah, what about these two? Huh? So what about these two? This guy is, seems to be friend. This is the possessed tiefling, aka the Botros. Yes. Oh, so all these guys are enemies. No, oh, the no. guy in the mask is friend. One is, the friend. Guy in the mask oh. is friend. Oh, that's what you meant by friend. I thought you meant their friend. No, no. I mean, she, yeah. he's currently grappled by the snake lady and is about to be choked to death or turned into mincemeat like his friend. Save him! Save him! Save you know what? friend unit! Wait. 
who were friends, friends with the guys wearing the baggy white robes. Alright, well, I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to yank this guy up onto my horse. He is grappled. Oh, is he? Yes. I yanked him really hard. By uh, he is, he's by restrained. a snake lady? Yep. Can I cut off the base of the tail to ungrapple? She's... I'd say no. Oh, she's Just too a tip. She is big. All right, in that me... case, I don't want to go over there. I will just stay here and blender. So yeah, generate, I will attack. Generate aggro, yeah. Good, good, good. good. And you, I'll you just have an ability well. in your shield to generate aggro. You can't find yeah, once what the snake what lady looks like. Wait, you post what the snake lady looks like? Unfortunate. Hey, Yon. Uh, that is a. I know that thing. Yeah, they're in WoW. Um. So <laughs> I. You're right. Shield ability. Purely because most of the time that in the past like six sessions I haven't been able to use it. Yeah. Wanton because could be happy with immune. Isn't All right. That... You know what? So. Wanton. It's... So they have to make saves. Uh, let me look at it again. It's been a while since I've used. Um, where is it? What's it under? Fuck. Oh, dip. It's under inventory, I think. Yeah, it is. It's... All right. Uh, yeah, they have to make charisma saves. All right. The uh, snake lady has advantage. What? She doesn't here's look very little, charismatic. Here's, here's, a, here's a little trait. Demons are resistant to magic. She's got boobas. Mm. She's always charismatic. Damn it. And, she ha and let's see. E 14. Shut the fuck up. No, he's right. 14. Uh, 14 fails. She rolled Fucking one, plus eight. Uh, one plus eight with also, damage. One dice per booba. Also, I'm, I don't know where you live, but I'm going to find out and I'm going to throw things <gasps> at you. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. The heart is no, also... Plus eight, it's plus, plus ten. Does a sixteen? No. <laughs> Dude, you wouldn't, even, you wouldn't even save against mine, and I'm pretty sure his All is right, higher. Alright, if Ultra gets hard. a natural twenty... I don't believe you, but I'll accept it. I don't believe you. Literally, literally natural twenty. Whatever. Okay, it doesn't matter. Go to the room and see. Also, read all his notes to it out loud. I can't wait for Votros to take their turn. All right. Anyways, is that your turn, Athenia? Yes. All right. Uh, Owl's no longer here. Votros's turn. Oh, he has to make two saves, right? Two wisdom saves. I have this copy and pasted now because this is very important. Uh, he he succeeds in one because that's a natural, not natural, but it's a twenty-one, and then he fails the other with a fourteen. <laughs> Okay, so that would be 22 damage total, then. I can, I can oh, okay. maybe save her. Maybe don't kill her too hard. It's like a little bit. So here's what Voltress is going Howard. to do. He's going to back up here. He can back up here. This guy's just... Wait, if he's restrained, does that mean he... What is restrained? I'm pretty sure he still gets to make uh, attacks opportunity about... attacks. He's grappled. Restrained. Spin zero can. Restrained? No. Creature has Rebel, advantage yes. attack rolls. Creature has a disadvantage, but he's still going to use his attack of opportunity to try and fucking smack Votros. He seems to be more and more pissed now that his friend's dead. And that's a miss because of disadvantage. Anyways, this guy, he. He's going to laugh like. Oh, oh wait, wait. wait. How, much, how much maximum movement does he have? Because it's halved. Yeah. So that in mind. So it would be fifteen. He moved. Yeah. He moved, he moved t basically. 10 yeah, 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 I see that now. And okay, sure. one more. So people got stubby legs, you know. Can't He's just legs. going to point at you. Look at this! Oh, the knight in shiny armor coming in to ride on your nice valiant steed to save the day. Oh, 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 he points a finger at you and shoots out a bolt of red lightning. Make a deck save. 
Ruh Dex. Uh oh. Good thing Athena has a plus 80 to all her saves. She passed. You take no damage. You don't get that disintegrate. That was oh. disintegrate. Yeah. yeah. Oh! <laughs> uh, he's like, things did not change on his LSO. Mad enough. I'm gonna blend <laughs> you, motherfucker! <laughs> Yeah, man. Please take care of this uninvited guest. And little does he know that the Marilis is already fixated on you with pure bloodlust. Seems like the shield worked. Imagine, imagine failing a disintegrate, like a seventh level spell. Imagine just anyways. Uh, top of the initiative, Swobo. Oh boy. Blend. Time to swing my axe. Yes. Yeah, that guy's dead. Twenty-four. Twenty-four hits. That will be 26 damage. He's not doing good. Alright. Swing again. Oh, will it be... hey. oh he is dead. I think he's dead. I love the anticipation. <laughs> that doesn't even roll damage! Just how do you want to do this? I love it. Uh, you yeah, know, no, I want to I wanna see uh, how much he takes, though. Uh, Okay, so it's this minus 8. Where's the brutal critical? 18. Uh, 36 damage. Was that hit? How do you want to do dead. this? Uh, this is a good. What the hell is this? He's a, a large bird. demonic bird. Burgoyle, draven looking thing. I don't know. I'll... Uh, let me keep it. I'll just grab oh, an image of that's one. a oh, rock. That's what you said. I'll, I I'll slice. Rocks. I'll slice his it wings what they... off, and then his head. Alright. So, you take your big axe, and you swing up very high, and then you swing down. And then you swing up again. And when you lower your blade, it's basically edges humming with heat. This thing collapses into four pieces. Its wings, its head, and its body. Alright. Also, the frock image is in campaign one for those who want to see what it looks like. And then I run over here and, attack with and, triple advantage. and swing my oh yeah wait right here and swing my uh, second weapon at this guy because I have one attack left. Damn. Uh, that's gonna be eight damage. Ouch. Okay, you hurt him a little bit. Oh, don't stand there. Uh... Alright. Well, uh, this is where I get advantage. No, you'll be no, okay. No, you're gonna get thunder step. No, 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 you'll, you'll, he'll be right. okay, he'll be okay. Okay. Also, by the way, the Vrock's corpse turns into ashes. Hug. Anyways, Paxi, you're up. Yeah, 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 yeah. High five time. High five time. I, I, I like, as I see you round the demon's corner, I'm gonna just raise my hand, like, get a big dopey grin on my face. 25. <laughs> There, th this Attack will ensure that Swolbo does not get thunderstepped. Attack him up. Yeah. Uh, oh shit. Yeah, he's, he's going to slash you. Yeah, of course he is. So, That's he's going to use his talons on you. So. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, right there would have been fine. Okay. Well, then you're fine. No attack of opportunity. Okay. High five. High five. Uh, Select high five destination, please. Ninety-five mm -hmm. feet. I can ninety feet. I can get you. Here. Move yourself, and I'll just stand next to you. Uh. uh it's like right there. <laughs> okay. Kablam. And how much damage does Bird so, Boy take? One, two. Oh, so that took me five, ten, fifteen. So I'm going to drag your ass one more square. I accept this. <laughs> How much damage from other steps? Uh, he's a 17 dexterity. All right. Yeah. No con. Make up your damn mind. It's con. All right. That's a fail. 29 oh. thunder damage. Ow. <laughs> He's not looking good. Man, high five is a great spell. I love high five. Well, is that your turn? <laughs> yep. All right, orc guy is dead. Human or uh, 
I had their names, but I'm just referring about a race at this point. Uh, he, it's fine. We're all racing. He right. is going to roll. What does he need to roll? He needs to roll, I guess, Dex to try and escape the grapple. Which he fails. He's still grappled. That's no, his turn. No, no, no. Unfortunate. Even no. Alex. I like to imagine she doesn't even remember he's there. Five, ten. She she's going to start focusing on casting a spell. Okay. And she's growling as well. So you can see for Paxi, recognize she's trying to cast fireball. Wait. Oh, the other lady. Cool. Yeah. Why does yours fireball so slow? <laughs> Anyways, uh. Oh. The demons. This guy is going to try and attack you, Swolbo. Let him try. 17. Uh, Mita beats it. 14 piercing damage, or half it, I guess. He's 7. He's going to roll another 17 for his talons, and you take 12, which is 6. Slashing. Okay. So, Athenia. Yeah. The snake lady releases him, and she's going to go up to you, which forces him to... All right, it's her turn. Genity. She makes two wisdom saves. Yep. Wisdom or the charisma? Wisdom. Two wisdoms. Uh, what's the save? 18. She succeeds on one and beats the other. Uh, which ones? First one, she fails. Wait, the you said succeeds on one, beats the other? What? <laughs> I mean, she rolled a 14 and 21. Okay, 14 and 21. Second one is 7 damage. First one's 18 damage, so 25 total. Wait, she has, she has advantage. No. Oh. She still That's fails. Wonder noise. Oh, she still fails that one. Okay, so how much damage total? 25. Ouch. You said, uh... She succeeded on one and failed the other still, right? Yes. Okay. I mean, good thing the, her fa other failure is higher than the natural one she rolled. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so she's going to get, you have her full undivided attention. And cool. she speaks to Athenia with telepathy. I don't know. What? I don't agree. Bear of the blessing of a false god. You shall know no pain before the eye of Anagen. Yeah, then she starts calling and she starts slashing at you. Collagen. Remember she gets advantage on- oh wait no, she failed. I mean she succeeded, I'm sorry. No, she succeeded. Oh, oh this no, is the failed. one that uh, failed, it was the bard that succeeded. Yes. Both so, succeeded. 27, uh, so you take 14 slashing. Okay. Um... Eighteen. Good. Nope. Misses. Twenty-six. That hits. Seventeen slashing. Okay. Twenty-five. Yes. Eleven slashing. I'm losing track. Okay. First one, two... I already Three. took the damage. I'm keeping track. And then this is okay. So she hit you with how many so far? Three. So this is the fourth one. Uh, uh that's a crit, which is not a crit. No. Nope. So ten, ten slashing. Fifth hit. Wait, 26. what? No, I said three of them hit me, and then two oh. of them missed, or one of them missed. Yeah, I know. So this is the fifth hit. You already what? Oh, that's what she, she has. Okay. Swing. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, she's she has six arms. Yeah, yeah I got that. So anyway. eleven, eleven slashing. Wait, how, what did you say the roll was? That was the last roll. No, it's not. Yeah, one, that's a fifth two, hit. You missed the first one, so that's six. Three, four, five. Okay, it is. Okay, I can count. Now she's going to attack you with the tail. It's impressive. I can still blunder you, bitch. 27? Yeah. 
19 bludgeoning. You are now grappled. And restrained. You, I don't have a choice? You are. It happens automatically. Bitch. So did her Look tail her. let go of the other guy? Yes, she did. Wait, can her tail reach up above the horse? Yes. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a large creature, essentially. I'm on a horse. Yeah, I'm also a large has, creature. Her tail also has a reach of 10 feet. Mm. So she yanks you off your horse, basically. You see, okay. what she doesn't realize is that she's only made the blender closer to her. Yeah, right. That's her turn. I hope you're Look healthy. All and the other blender is on his way. Uh, Akos. Wait a second. Okay. I made six saves, so six of them hit and two of them missed. She made eight attacks? No. Look. Seven. You rolled your last constitution save twice in a row. Okay. So okay. You should, it should have been. My mouse might be messing up. Okay, it's look, Paxi. It's fine. I have plans within plans. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I use my action to return my owl from beyond the beyond. Don't worry, I also have plans. The owl just puts in a rain check. Well, no, Big Dylan, give me my fucking owl token. That's why I the left owl. it in the. I I get it back. It's. I can temporarily just dis- there we go, Jesus. Don't don't, don't I was just like, yeah, I'm not dealing with that shit. Stay scary. Okay. So, yeah, okay, so I can summon the owl up to thirty feet away from me. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There we go. I have line of sight on them now, and my owl can communicate this to me telepathically. I want to this is the human, right? Yeah, it's the human. I just wanna I wanna look over at him and be like, focus on the snake lady. I have an idea. I gotta try and save your friend. It might not work, but I'm going to give it a good college try. What's a college, anyway? They have colleges! After I said it, I realized that bar colleges exist, so I, I fail RP, I guess, on my part. But, um... At least I, did, at least I didn't plug my fucking RAM in wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do? Huh? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna look. I like I'm how he dumb, just randomly digs dumb. at Drew for no reason. I mean, he's... Look, it's fine. It's fine, right, Drew? You know? Yeah, I might be nearly dead, but it's fine. Oh, well, how much health do you have left? Uh, Athenia will remember digit, this. Oh, you have a that's that's what you get for taunting the creature that has seven attacks oh, per turn. You, oh, wait a minute. You're, you're missing health, Athenia? Maybe. Fuck's uh, sake. I may be missing 100 HP. Uh, 18 health. Yay! <laughs> that survived one tag, maybe two. This is the hey, equivalent don't, of a don't corporate make, pizza don't, party. <laughs> don't what if I heal myself? What, what you gonna do about it then? Heal block. I'm still technically a blender. Yeah. Don't worry. Soon enough, about, the two blenders like... will be attacking the blender. Alright. That's, so is that your turn, Akis, or you that, is my, that is my turn. If at any point Athenia has 18 or less health, I was helpful. Anyway, that is the end of my turn. Uh, next up is going to be Votros. Come back, Five, Votros, you little fucker. 10, 15, 20... Pussy. Oh, you brought in the cavalry? Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, look at me. I am in so much danger. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Oh, I know. Why don't you just die? He's going to shoot another red laser. This one aiming at Paxi. I am the... No. Well, and Paxi! Right now, he's going to hit the human who's directly in front of him instead. Oh, bye, what human. about Paxi, though? He hates Paxi specifically. I mean, Anagen does. Uh, he fails. Uh oh. He's dead. By human man. I mean, he might. I I've seen people survive very high level disintegrates. Yeah, he you're fucking, self the red laser hits this guy. He combusts into flames, and when the flames disappear, he's nothing but ashes. That is unfortunate. What? It was disintegrate. Who knew? <laughs> how many? How many? How many of those do you got? <laughs> With my magic trick, look at that! Your friend disappears! Oh, how unfortunate, how unfortunate, how unfortunate! 
Alright, next up on the initiative is... Swalbo. Oh, boy. You are still fighting Bird Team. Yep. Bird Team and two, electric mm -hmm. and two, Electric Boogaloo. And I swing at him. 23. 23 hits. That will be... 18 damage. He's still alive. Alright, well then I swing again. 29. That hits. Uh, 14 damage. No, sorry, sorry. Uh, the 16 damage. And uh, he is dead. He collapses cool. on the ground as your axe and bends into his um, skull. And when you pull it out, he turns to ashes. What? Which should I go after? The six-armed lady or the demon-possessed lady? Demon-possessed lady. Don't get incinerated. Yeah, not getting so the to go after idea. the demon possessed lady. Yeah. Uh, although okay. I wanted to point out that Athena is about to die, and very easily. Athena is telling me to go out. after the demon possessed lady. All right. I. Oh wait, I can't sprint. I used my action. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter. Would Athena ever ask for help though? That's fair. Twenty-five, eighty. That's as far as I can go, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Only Don't worry, I can make it to our next turn. Well, that was only 80 feet. Yeah. I can only move 80 feet per turn if I've also attacked. <laughs> only. Only. Monks, beware. We have a, we have a Swolbo. I mean, Swolbo... I mean, barbarians get the same amount of unarmored movement as monks do. Is that your turn, Swalbo? Yes, it is. I, I feel like Baji could move more than I can. Cool. I'm going to get... You're halfling. You're missing five feet. I'm going to get closer to Athenia. Good plan. To get the and dex bonus. Not... And we're going to not get disintegrated! Uh, oh yeah, we're going to... Can I stab around Athenia with a ten-foot spear? I mean, I'm being held in the air. Uh oh. I mean, I just don't want to have line of sight of disintegrate person. Is what I'm trying to accomplish. Uh, try and position yourself between Athena's horse and yourself. The horse is the most expendable person here. All right. The horse is the familiar. That I guess. makes sense. Here All right. Is. Anyway, bonus action: hexblade's curse on Snake Lady and commit extra stabs. All right. Uh, 19 to hit. She's gonna use her reaction Fuck. to deflect the hit with her sword, and that would have been a miss. Now, I mean, a hit, now it's a miss. Alright, secondary stab. Unfortunately, never mind. That missed it. That missed it. I curse loudly. Yep, yeah, she can create her, increase her AC for one melee attack that would hit. Damn. That's unfortunate. Damn fighters. Alright, well. Uh, in that case, it is. Orc is dead. Half, Damn half fighters in their casting of Disintegrate. No, no, no. Half Elf's not dead. Human's dead. So she. A half Elf. She is beyond pissed at this point. Two of her friends are dead. She's going to cast Fireball centered right here. Cool. She can Hold do on. that. Let me see how this spell works. Uh, I'm fine. I'm behind full cover from the spell's origin. Everyone else, fuck. Nope. So, she's just gonna cast Fireball. So, Snake Lady and Votros both have to make a... Hold on. Fireball is 20, is a 20, right? So... So, is it technically like 40? Or is it like 20? It... If it's if it says the radius, it's twice that much. Okay, so yeah, she can hit both of them. So Snake Lady must make a deck save with advantage. She succeeds, and also Votros barely fails. Wait, deck save for from what? 
for Snake Lady and Votros, this human casts a white version, like a white flame version of Fireball. What? That does how much radiant damage? Snake Lady takes 12 radiant, Votros takes 23. Ow. Votros is not looking too healthy now. Anyways, that is her turn. Marilyn's turn. Or did I accidentally skip Athenia? I haven't gone in like an hour. Where are you? Oh, it's because you last. and Aikis are I'm dead on, last. You and Aikis are right on top of each other. Okay, we need to have different okay, letters. There you go. I'll, I'll be you guys are, now. You both start with A E. Okay, I'll, I'll be You both back. are next to each other. Anyways, Athenia, Vegas. you go. Finally, Jesus. Okay, so, so... I'm sorry, I can't... You're both literally rolled right next to each other. You're second, seven, eight, is four. Right. I'm really First hit, thing. 16, miss. Second hit. 25, no, you, I hope that hits. You attack with disadvantage because you're grappled. Oh, you're that's right. Okay. So yeah. 16 misses. Um, aren't you going to heal yourself? Critical hit! Doesn't this fucking matter. matter. 26, she's going to use her reaction to increase her AC, which still fails. So, in other words, you hit Athenia. Okay. I'm going to use a third level Divine Smite. You can't choose uh, this. And... No. No, it's, this is Radiant damage. It should be extra. I don't want to use anything. No, she can't do anything. Also, there are fiends, so I get an extra D8. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye. If only you had crit. Oh, that's so sad. So, that is... Athenia has entered rage mode. Five D eight. Wait. Oh yeah, five D sixty eight. Am I mapping right? No, I need it. Is, yeah, I'm right. I'm right. Slash roll six D eight plus four. Forty one damage. Forty one radiant. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, so ten slashing. 12, 18, 23, 31. Wait, what? I can't math. 10 slash. Yeah, 10 slashing, 31 radiant. All right. Yet. So she, she takes the full damage. She's not really hurt that much, but by doing that, Athenia, she releases you from her tail. One of us needs to learn how to banish. Paxi, we do it. All right. Is that your turn, Athenia? Or Paxi are you is the opposite. Yeah. I don't have bonus action. Oh, yeah, you're, maybe. Not healing, you're not healing yourself. Interesting. Can't I can't get heal myself. Banishing smite. Oh. <laughs> All right, okay, banishing smite. So now it's the Marilus turn, and then Actually, it's going yeah, to be. All right. I... She is going to attack you, Athenia, with advantage. Oh. Goodbye, Athenia. Wait, why advantage? Because of because I have my shield. Oh. Fifteen misses. Yep. I'm gonna be right back. 17 misses. Yep. 22. Misses. 24. Hits. 15 slashing. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Oh, just because it was her turn, she needed to make two oh. saves. Well, she'll make it. So that's a 23 hit. Yeah, 23 is a meet the pizza. All right, that will be nine slashing. Okay. All right, so she makes what? Charisma saves or wisdom? Uh, two wisdom. All right, uh, the highest roll she got was a 16. Okay, she takes so 35 damage. God, she's melting. All right, so that's her six sword slashes. She's going to hit you with her tail now. Okay. That's a 22. Misses. That's her turn. Like, it's a high AC is actually doing something despite the fact she has a very high attack modifier. Alright, uh, next is Aka, so it's gonna be Athenia again. Yeah, Aka, did Aka say he's gonna be right back? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, Athenia, you go then. Okay, I'm not grappled this time. Yeah. Hey. Nope, so you have it. Yep, I'm going to attack. Oh, actually, right, she's going to use her. She's going to use her reaction. 
to increase okay, our AC. Hit. It meets it's a meets it beats it. Oh. Second level divine smite. Slap roll. What is what I roll? Slap roll five d eight plus four. Thirty three uh thirty three damage. Ow. And that's my turn. I ain't no coward. I ain't gonna heal. I should heal. You should. You got the tattoo, sure, but that's not gonna save you for the rest of the fucking hits. Uh, uh, what, hey, what, what do you mean tattoo? What tattoo? Your tattoo? Yeah. My tattoo doesn't you. increase my AC. No, it saves you. No, but if you get if you were to if you were to oh, life I didn't know that. Why do you think it's called oh, life Lord? Okay, so. It's a oh, it's modified a version. It's tattoo. Yeah. Okay, Anyways, um, I guess. I got back just in time. Dylan. Does anyone have their... I forget. Does anyone have their turn between me and my owl? Huh? Does anyone have their turn between me and my owl? No. Okay, no. then. Well, I'll just have both our turns together, then, because we're friends like that. Oh, no. Okay. Um. I send a psychic command... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Dylan, would you consider being possessed by an undying entity a curse? Would it? Would you consider being possessed by an undying, unnatural creature the charmed condition? <laughs> These are things that you should ask beforehand. Well, I have solutions and plans if it doesn't work. <laughs> curse would not be the spell. I mean, I remove curse would not be the spell then. What about that? What about the charmed condition? It, she is not charmed. Okay, so greater restoration will roll, roll okay, how about this? Roll Arcana. Oh, that thing I'm not good at. Great. I'm okay at Arcana. I'm minus yeah. one. That's a five. Not ideal. Wait, hold on. Oh oh. Actually, yeah, okay, so you would not really know if such magic would actually work. Okay, well, you know what? I'll do it anyway. I have a fifth level spell slot. I cast Greater Restoration. It's a touch spell, so I channel it. My bird uses her reaction, and I cast... I, there's no save. It just happens. The bird flies up, just fucking right in her face, and I use ca Greater Restoration through her. Sorry, what do birds sound like again? No, it's like, like they're like up, they're, yeah, they're just like up, like you know when they like a bird like gets up on someone and like sort of just eats their wings in their face, or it's like <laughs> aggressively. It's like it's like a thing they do, like when they're upright. Look, shut the fuck up, <laughs> shut the fuck up, fuck you, fuck all of you. I'm trying to be greater, dramatic here. Greater restoration does not do anything. Fuck. Okay. Second plan. Then I put owl here, 45 feet, and I have the owl use the action it still has to cast claw. the help action. Claw her eyeballs. Yeah, I, the help action. I can't, I can't attack. It's a familiar. Uh, I'm in a warlock. <laughs> um, I, okay, so I have advantage. So the next attack against her has advantage. And I have a bu okay. How fucked is Athenia right now? Have you yeah. used... Um, Very fucked. Okay, well, that's a good thing. Oh wait, I cast I, I cast a first level spell, didn't I? Or a first level? Yeah, fuck. Okay. I'm getting well, flashbacks with the whole dragon fight. I mean, not the dragon fight, but the giant. Beast maybe I shouldn't be using this uh the shield anymore. <laughs> well, well, it's I, not. I just gets do it against ads. You're, you used to get a very powerful monster. Where well, is the, all the ads were dead. What did you want from me? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> uh, but the right side, all your companions are alive. 
Except those other two. But they kind of were. Oh, yeah, they're not companions. That's minimum damage. Ow, I, my pride. What was I that? Shot that shot it? Minimum damage. I shot oh, I meant the ones that are dead. Okay. Oh, shame. I attack with advantage. I hit her. I do minimum damage. All right. All right. Is, that, is that your turn? I, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna make sure I'm in full cover so I don't get disintegrated. Swalbo. Oh boy. Uh, let's see here. So that did not work. Greater restoration did nothing. Uh. I ask again, who should I be going after? Probably the big one. Eh, fuck it. Yeah, I, I, I see an opportunity to flank. Alright. I start a swinging. Alright. Uh, 27. That's a hit. <laughs> That's gonna be 18 damage. Okay. I swing again. She's gonna use her reaction to oh, increase okay. her AC, which doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. 29. <laughs> That's a hit. This one will be uh, 19 damage. Okay. And... She's not looking good. Oh, actually, come to think of it, I haven't been hit. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm good. Uh. Alright, yeah. Swing with the secondary weapon then. 25. 25 uh, hits. That will be 7 damage. Okay, she's still alive. Is that your turn? Uh, Taxi! Yeah. I'm gonna... Did we say feeding other people potions was a bonus action? Yes. Alright. Athena, open wide. All fast charges. I'm not dead yet. Yeah, but, you know... That, yeah, we're trying to avoid that. You heal 15 damage as I shove a flask in your face. Does, does Athena take this? Sure. Alright. Go, go, go. Uh, com commit... Minecraft printing noise. Commit stab. Are you flanking because of Swobo? She's going to use her reaction to increase her AC, causes that attack to miss. Oh, man. The 20 she makes a 22 miss? Yes. Fuck. What, That's a a... 23 what a snaky bitch. 27 to hit that. That, that hits. Alright. 13 damage plus Hexblade's curse adds 4, so 17 damage. How do you want to do this? <gasps> um, have you ever cut open a sausage from like top to bottom so you could spread oh, it out God. on a sandwich? Oh, yeah. God. We're going to split her down the middle. But not like you cut in half, oh. just kind of open her up. <laughs> Ooh. Right, right there! God! <laughs> so you do that. <laughs> Although can, she's so long that you can't do the entire body. So you just do her upper torso. No, but her body. I'm in the split zone! <laughs> she splits open, although no blood comes out. Instead, you see ash seeping out. Oh, her body starts writhing. Oh. She drops all six of her sores. She grabs herself, lets out a gurgling noise. And she manages to speak out telepathy for you all to hear. May a thousand curses be put upon thee. And her whole body and her weapons turn to ash. Yeah, well... I can drop I can <laughs> who did I, who, okay, who did I delete? <laughs> you deleted my horse! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, friendly fire! Oh, um, hey. like, uh, the lead character, horse gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, um, darkness, my old friend. Well, I really uh, don't want to get into the firing range of Disintegrate. Get on my horse and you will in your face. Oh, that's... I, I, Jump on your horse and ride! <laughs> Look at my horse. My horse is Fuck. amazing. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll hop on the horse. Like justice. I'll, I'll jump on the horse. <laughs> can yeah, I, can I, I hold... Like your turn back to can, since I've used none of my movement, can I help Athenia onto her horse? 
with my movement, like just drag. I mean, I don't need that. I don't need that. I can just get on, and then my horse has a separate movement. I'm gonna be real. You're hovering right above your horse, Drew. Once she lets you go, you you flop right back on top of that All right, horse. Cool. I drop on. I I jump on the back of the horse. Anyways, is that your turn, Paxi? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, I killed uh, her. I heal fourteen. Haha, <laughs> take that. Oh wait, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna Back summon her ass back as a specter. Has to be a humanoid. What's required? What's required? Oh wait, does it have to be? Is yeah. I I know that they have to like have a skull, a ghost you can pull out of them. Um, there is no soul there. Okay. Yeah, humanoid. Oh well. So. All right. Anyways, is that your turn? Yeah. She's gonna move up and. She's gonna cast three rays <laughs> at the owl. At, <laughs> at the <laughs> owl, yes. At, no, at Fotros. Okay. However, he is just gonna flick his finger, and go no, and the spell fizzles in her hands. Fuck you and your counter spell. Man. Oh, this body has so many new tricks. I wish oh, I, I can't could do wait. That. Anyways, uh, she's fuming because she's not able to do much at all. Uh, Akes. Has Voltros had a turn? I'm skipping a lot of people, apparently. Shh. Fuck it. Akes, go. Okay, thank there you. It's only fair. I skipped Athene and now I skipped Voltros. There's so many initiative orders. Actually, a lot of yeah. people here are dead. Let me start cutting back on them. Um, uh, protection from good go. and evil. Uh, okay, I guess the question is, uh, I keep forgetting, what is the name of the of the actual tiefling? I'm bad with names. Uh, Manala. Manala, okay. Fiery Manala, there we go. Thank you. Uh, Manala, uh, if Manala is a willing creature, I cast protection from, good, protection from good and evil on her. And if Voltros is an aberration, celestial, fey, fiend, or undead, she has advantage on saving throws to resist his influence. Alright. Including possession, which she is explicitly possessed. Yes. So, so, okay. She's a willing creature. Okay, that's my uh, uh, that's me using my action and my owl's bonus action. Or my owl's reaction. I will flat, 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 flanking! <laughs> Look, what? What's so funny? Is it, the, is it me saying flap as it moves? Is that what's funny? <laughs> or is that your turn? You gotta say flabbity, flibbity, flobbity. Wait, um, did, did well, the protection from good and evil do property. nothing? Uh, I mean, um, not yet. It's not her uh, turn. I am going to... Are you telling me this whole time she's been rolling? <laughs> what I don't fuck? know what the fuck you just said. <laughs> I do, which is concerning. Alright. Um, <laughs> I, you know what? I still have my bonus action, which I cannot hold, I don't think. But I will. <laughs> no, so I guess actually the question, Dylan, I know the spell worked, right? Like, I know that she is a willing creature and now has the bonus, right? Yes. Okay. I want to tell everyone that, to like, just give it a second. I've done something, maybe it'll work. Like, just everyone hold, everyone, like, hold one action. Alright. Yeah. Is that your turn? So, Athenia, so many you're... spell slots? Also, um, I, I use I use a spell slot. Protection of Good and Evil is a spell slot. Also, my owl uses the help action, so anyone who the first person who attacks her has double advantage. So, Athenia, you're up. 40. Okay. Well. Right. This is an advantage, right? Yes. It's double advantage. It kick, is? Kick her in the head I with a horse. I, I used the help action. Those are god-awful rolls. Holy god. 17 still hits, though. Okay, good. The highest I got in three rolls was a 9. <laughs> uh, we're going to use a second-level Divine Smite. All right. They, considering they're possessed, that's a fiend, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Cool. Get advantage on her save. But no one listens to me. 23. The, the DC is 50. Wow. It doesn't matter. That's the first hit? Yep. The help action only gives it for the first one, right? Yes. That's oh. a crit. 
<laughs> Second level divine smite. How do you want to do this? Slash roll five plus four. Wow, thirty-eight damage. How do you want to do this? Nominally low. I'm not killing. This is going to incapacitate. Incapacitate. It under demeciate. So, I'm going to use the butt of my sword with the divine smite of the gods above the thunk. Bonk. So you just you just envelop your blade with divine energy. You swing up, then you turn the hill. The blade floods to that, and you smash her head. You just a big white flash, and a shockwave erupts. And when you're I when mean, the, the shockwave dissipates, she's just flat on the ground, unconscious. Have you seen a little the, crater uh, thing where you uh, turn the blade around to hold the actual blade and hit him? A murder yep. strike, a mordhow. Yeah, that's amazing. All right. Well, she has advantage on her save. So, Paul, guys, I think I. So, Paxi, you mind explaining why the hell I'm here in the field, and cultists? As I so hear, stop doing that. I can't hear. Hey, as I as I well, hear I'll... Athena no. cutting in and out. Sorry, <laughs> that would be my. You could hear it if I didn't have a my filter on. <laughs> Anyway. Not your Fuck it. And and I All hold right, my fine. finger up. Paxi holds his finger oh, up. He goes, "Hey, Dylan. would you, yes or no, abandon everything you were doing to save an innocent life from a demon possession in the middle of a field?" It depends. Dylan, what's up? Um, she's within ten feet of a friend. She's with, uh. Uh, fiery Manasa, Melania, Manasa, Manala. 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 Where I have traveled. All right, let's let's look at it this way, Paxi. Would I, Athenia, go storm out in the middle of the night to go looking for my crush, who uh, you are just a little worried about and probably paranoid, also to go out to the middle of a warehouse in the middle of the night to interact with people you don't know who. Uh, according to Akis, we're wearing masks and we're following a religion you don't know. They're wearing masks right now. Regardless of the religion, they were without your party. Friends in the of... again in the middle of the night. Yeah, they were friends of the crazy lady who you don't even know was on your side. And guess what? Now they're all dead. Almost. Not all. Not all. So we saved one life or and killed all of her friends. Ratio. No, we're oh, at a 50% ratio. Oh, I apologize. We're, Two we're, of her friends, one of her friend is mincemeat. The other doesn't even exist wait, on this planet. Wait, existence anymore. Wait, wait, wait. It, it's not fair to say we sacrificed however many lives to save a life. We have not saved her life yet. She's still possessed and unconscious. We're, we're, we're in the, we're <laughs> still in the <laughs> bed right now, that. but we can we maybe get up to the planet. Okay. Um, okay. I use my rope to, to tie her arms behind her back. Uh, you should cover her mouth too, so she can't cast spells. I don't. I mean, she needs her hands okay, for I... anyway. All right, who uh, knows Shibari? Shibari? No, oh. no, hey, no, 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 <laughs> no. Wait, I don't know the no. art of uh, rope tying the arms and mouth at the same time. Someone else do that for me. Oh my God, in her mouth, get two different things. <laughs> You've made Akaz go up a third <laughs> octave. <laughs> Well, that's Sorry. nice. Paxi, right. me, no matter what, no matter how good your intentions yeah. are, this is not to do that and sacrifice her friends. Can I, can Look, I, why do you I know? tried to convince them to I wait did not for know us. What a they oh my God. ran off. The friends. Paxi, yeah. you're a terrible liar. Let me just inside check wait, that. Wait, no, I, I am see... telling the truth. <laughs> I vouch for Paxi as I'm looking over Manala. Can I can I roll determine demon like determine nature demon. survival? Also, this like, this person here, she sits down, puts her hands together, and she starts muttering a prayer. God damn it! I'm telling the truth. They did not want to wait for us. They, they all would have died fiery, horrible deaths. You, Athenia, you... managed to save one of them. Good job. Yeah, teamwork. Anyway. Uh, Paxi, I... you're a fucking idiot. She's like, so Athena true. herself is getting really 
upset over this. I look, mean, look. You are you just realizing you this? saved potentially saved an innocent life. And then you also wiped out a cult again, and this time we're going to get that stupid fiery orb. I'm going to go rummage through her unconscious body. I, where's that I, fucking stupid-ass orb? You know what? I'm not going to worry about Paxi anymore. I'm, oh. That's it. I'm done caring. I, I, this entire Honestly, time I've been worrying and trying to protect the group, and Paxi storms off in the middle of the night as we're on a bender. What? Paxi... And Akez <laughs> stormed Hi. off in the middle Akez of the night. came back for us. Yeah, because we had a plan. One of us would find the location of the cult, and the other would f would help the party get there. Akez, Look, you didn't, didn't specify it. this. I I mean I it was implied. Akez, <laughs> I. I, I mean, I guess they didn't. I mean, look, it was a big you guys are walking back to town. It just, it's just. Hey, Akes, I, 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 I can, I can, I five. I can fly to town faster than you can walk. Um, congratulations, you cast fly for ten no. minutes. No, no, I can fly. Okay, Taxi's fucked. I can fly for <laughs> two hours. <laughs> You're both I teleport on my ninety feet. Right I take a nap. I teleport ninety feet. I take a nap. Uh, <laughs> so Melina starts stirring. No, you teleport 180 feet and then you take Wait, a nap. No, we gotta find this. I, I am looking for that stupid ass orb. Roll Where investigation. I, I well, want well, to roll like right back right now. Okay, how many? Okay, she is a woman. She's wearing what? What is she wearing right now, Dylan? She's wearing tattered, burnt versions of her old bard clothes. Okay, so she is a woman wearing a dress. Okay. Nobody, everybody knows dresses don't have pockets. Where's that fucking orb? <laughs> Roll investigation. Taxi, I don't think you want to know the answer to that question, actually. Oh, and, uh, are you going to let him continue to search like this? <laughs> All right. Taxi, how are you doing right now? I'm looking for that fucking orb that uh, escaped. On a scale from. of one to how much HP you have, what would you say you're at? <laughs> on a scale of one to 75, I'm at a 65. <laughs> You're gonna get smote, you know that, right? Hey, don't worry, Athenia. He's just reaching Athenia, up. We are going to un wipe out a cult today, what? and you will be no. Stop. He he is just reaching Roll up an unconscious some... woman's skirt, Actually, trying to find that... what's inside. What's the problem? All right, uh, that is. Wait, I'm next to Ath I'm next to Athenia. I get a plus. <laughs> no, you don't. You're not my friend. <laughs> I get to choose. <laughs> If she chooses, you don't get the bonus. Fuck you! <laughs> Athena is taking this. Uh, Athena, Paxi, why are you... stop. Nope, didn't work. Failed. No, failed. I didn't. Paxi, you oh. <laughs> oh my god. Make Wait, another one. I get six seconds. Do I find the orb in six seconds? You do not. Fuck! I'm gonna roll another investigation. I... Swalbo, could you restrain Paxi? <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute. That's investigation. That yes, you can't make another one. Wait, did he tell you to make another one? I just did no, command again. You you found nothing, Paxi. What? The orb's not here. No, oh, the orb's not here. That's unfortunate. Um, stop <sighs> groping this unconscious woman now. We're looking for stop. a orb. I turned to her. Just I need to find her hear, orbs. Make a wisdom save. You hear? You hear? Morning, just speak up. You know. The way you look at this, this doesn't really look like you're doing this, you know, appropriately. Look, I have a vendetta against this stupid ass orb that disappeared Make on me. A wisdom save. He's reaching into an unconscious woman's dress, trying to find some orb shaped on cast you fail orb. and you're done. <laughs> okay. Wait, so what was the command? Stop. Oh, cool, I wait six seconds and then I continue. <laughs> that is well, not how could... it works. That's exactly how it works. It it pauses me for one turn. Come oh, man, let me. I'm curious hey. about this one. Tell tell me after ten minutes have passed, so we know when I'm done casting detect magic on her. It's gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna. Well, follow the command on his next turn. That's all it does. Yes. Yeah. I wait for six seconds. <laughs> I keep digging. Swobo, can you? Swobo. Uh, no, this uh, is me, way too entertaining. No, Elena opens yeah, up for what her Guess one. Who, eye. You have Swobo. You have advantage. Would you like to blender? 
Oh, Paxi, <laughs> make two wisdom saves. Wait, no, fuck. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> okay. Actually, no, no, you're making no, two wisdom no, saves. No, Hold on a sec. Did you, did you offer the opportunity I can hear to you blender doing. Paxi? That does <laughs> sound like fun, you're right. I actually am attacking Paxi right no, now. No, stop. I'm defending a woman's honor against this lecherous man. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, Athena, did you suggest that I should blender Paxi? You're right, that sounds like an excellent idea. <laughs> I pull my weapons back out. Paxi dies. <laughs> Paxi's going to go unconscious, does, and then he's going to get Paxi tied stop? up. Pack oh, he did not Is this what no. I'm hearing? Internal chaos in my group? Oh, well, unfortunate. Well, oh, she's shit. unconscious right now. No, she, no, no, she, she is just woke conscious. Up. Very she's much conscious. Um, oh, hit wow. her again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right next to her. Can I be the one to just unarm strike? Like, ah! Punch. <laughs> roll you have to do the high-pitched shriek. Okay, and I'm, then I'm, do it. Okay, look, you okay, also get advantage because she's on the ground. That is true. They're Basically, prone. Okay. If, if, if she just regained consciousness, I mean, she has like one HP. All we have to do is like stick her in the face. <laughs> just like, oh, it's just a turn. Okay. <laughs> I, deal, I, deal, I, I deal four damage to her. She's unconscious again. <laughs> okay. Is it lethal or non lethal? Non lethal. Okay. She's unconscious. I wanna, can I, I want to do the screen. Just can't channel talk, the energy. I... Remember? I shibarried. Shibarried, oh. whatever the fuck. But she's still, but you did gag her, did you? Yeah, that's that's what oh, no, you were killing Paxi. That's what he, he tied her arms behind her back and uh, gagged her. Yeah, that's what I did first, and then Paxi decided to start groping her. Looting. There's a difference. Is there there's a difference? Really it's like, oh, <laughs> <really not>. <laughs> <laughs> so now she's just like rocking back and forth like a boat before stopping. <laughs> Anyway, right. so I cast detect magic as a ritual. All right, what magic are you detecting, or I mean, what are you trying to detect? I want to detect her. I mean, like schools, or like, that's what detect magic does. Detect magic lets you see magical auras, and they're colored based on the spell school. I can see creatures, objects, spells, spell effects. You detect a various amount of magic, such as hold on. I want to see if she has you... the orb or some other item on her. You detect abjuration magic. You detect uh, enchantment magic. I mean, that's like most of the magic that you detect. There's some. Does does she have an object physically on her person? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Hey, Paxi. Uh. Before, before you die, um, when you found the orb on the last guy. Did you physically find it on his person? Yeah, it rolled out of his sleeve. How quickly after he died did it roll out of his sleeve? Oh, fuck, huh? He was hey, definitely Ath dead. Athenia? Yes, Akis? Uh, I heard a rumor that you have a 300 gold piece diamond. Perhaps. The option exists. We can try it for science? Like, I'm just going to put we... that out there. What are you doing exactly He's again? He's going to kill her, and then we're going to we resurrect her, her after the orb her. Oh, the demon comes out. Like, we kill her, the orb comes out, we have the orb, and then we just bring her back to life. Hey, Achis? Hey, you, uh... I'm Make sorry, a wisdom care. save. I don't... <laughs> what? I'm... We can immediately bring her back to life! I'm just... I'm not pulling out I, my gun! I can't bring her back to life. I can't revivify. Oh, you actually have revivify. I thought it was we, um. We both do. I thought it was the other one. The uh. No, okay. I uh, expanded spell dead. Thank you, Tasha. Um, I I can cast revivify. Give me the three hundred gold piece diamond. You. I don't think I quite caught your name. She. It's just finished her prayer. She is looking oh. incredulous at us. Was it a was it a wizard magic prayer or just like a my friends are dead prayer? Seems to be a sort of ritual prayer. Okay. Um, you. Do you know enough about like have you been have you heard anything that we're talking about? I don't think I forgot your name. She turns her silvery mask towards you. You can't tell what she's feeling. 
I, le- I let my owl rest comfortingly on her shoulder, and, like nuzzled up against her head. Sierra. Sierra. Okay. About Sierra. Do you know enough about demonic possession to know how to exercise this entity? Most possession can be removed with the spell to spell evil and good. Don't have that. That's not paladin. I'm sorry. One more time. Spell says... evil and good. Dispel good and evil. Yes. <clears throat> Are you asking if I have it, or is that what the ritual was? No, that's that what we. Good? That is. Uh, Sierra just said that's a spell that could be used to exercise the demon. Pro- protection. However, that is only for most other creatures a possession, such as Fae, undead, and those beyond the material plane. However, Votros is a very powerful entity, and such magic does not guarantee to work. Well, the only way to tr- remove that possession is to find the, the sphere that hosts Votros' war- will and destroy it. But such know- a sphere... I'm sorry, you talk? Such a sphere will not appear normally unless this host is dead. Okay. Let and me run this then... idea past you. Galaxy brain idea. We, I have the power to bring someone back to li- the recently dead back to life, so long as their injuries are not too severe. We could ju- just, like, like one shot in the head, the orb comes out, we bring her back to life, and then we have the orb, and it's all good. Would that work? Perhaps. But to bring her back would be cruel. I mean, we have, like, the oldie therapy, right? This is Anagen we are speaking of, uh, and, a, and a great servant of Anagen. In the end, I believe it to be a mercy to allow her to be wreathed in white flames, so that the way Lord Chen can grant her the mercy she deserves. Okay. One, one second. I like the revenge oh, yeah. idea. However... Even I am not sure if such a method would be wise, because the sphere, the body of Votros, the Undying, is not necessarily within the host. With my detect magic, can I see any kind of nexus of energy that Leorp might be like inside of her body or something? You don't or, like, detect anything like that. Her? Okay. Can I? I got like a thirty foot, just like immediately around us, other than the corpse of a demon and all our friends. There is no demon corpses. All right. Tell okay. me, Sierra. Is you're saying that Anagen would torture her in her mind? Indeed, You're granting her visions of chaos, twisting her will. In fact, even though Votros is a possession of her at this point, I would not be surprised if part of her was already embraced the chaos that Energen speaks of. She willingly accepted me trying to ex- excise him. So she's still Indeed. in there somewhere. She is, but she is no longer whole. If Votros were to be freed and ripped from her will, then she would be free to enact Energen's will as her own. I reiterate, ye olde therapy. I feel like taking one's life without their consent would be cruel in and of itself. Paxi, take it. Paxi, take a nap. You know nothing of what Anagen is capable of and what he has done. We Perhaps not. Lord Chen know what must be done in this fight against him. We have dealt with Votros many times, although I have not dealt with them personally until now. Many members of the Order of Silver Flame have encountered Votros the Undying, our members being stripped of their will and then being possessed, or members being brainwashed by Votros' power, forcing them to become mindless servants full of maniacal glee and vigor. I must say, I, Sierra... I took an oath. I took an oath to uphold what I believe is is right. And taking someone's life, even if they are not whole, purely because of a religion, I feel is unjust. And 
is irresponsible. But what if your methods were to be unfounded and there is no way to rip Voltros from her will without leaving her forever scarred? What will you do then? We'll cross our bridge when we get to it. Until then, there's no reason to take her life. Just because you believe that is the right thing to do. And we can not believe You're living in a world of black and white. I when everything like is way more gray. And yet, you have not seen the world of red and silver. Perhaps. But, I, I mean, it's worth a shot. Like, have, I mean, no I mean, no one has ever, as, unless you can correct me, been possessed by uh, Voltros and later had him excised. Maybe there is a way to be recovered from that. If it, there is, it would be the power of Bremnus. Or those well, who, of great power who wields divine magic. Perhaps. Maxine. Maxine. Yes. We have a, what we if have the a, spell uh, remove curse work? Uh, I, I tried that. It didn't work. Oh, did you? Okay, I, 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 I tried greater restoration. That's even better. It didn't work. That is better. Maxine. Maxine. That's literally all the spells. Remove curse and greater restoration is the oh. only thing that could... Excise a demon. Well, there are specifically things that end the possession condition. To we spell don't have evil a... and good is yeah. the spell that possesses a chance. But against Votros, it is not guaranteed. Yes, yes. Take him out and use the dream spell. We, we have, it's we, a fifth have... level spell. I can't learn it. <laughs> Until okay, what what am I? If she's still possessed, then Anagen's still gonna be in there. What is the dream spell gonna do? Wait, wait, wait! We're friends with Irvioran. We're friends with an actual like deity. Maybe she can help us. I pick up so with my with the rope tied around uh, God, whatever the bard's name. All right, is, so hear, hear me out. When you I kill someone, they're no ears. longer possessed. So you kill her, we kill her, we bring her back, she's no longer possessed. Right. And if an orb shows up, great. If an orb doesn't show up, she's still no longer possessed. Hypothetically. If she's upset that we brought her back to life, we'll kill her again. I don't know if that's necessarily the greatest solution, but I guess it covers all our bases. Uh, what, what, what's her friend's name? What's Silver Mask Face name? Sierra. 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 If we bring her back to life, and there is no sign of Votros in her, but she is still broken, will you take her into your care? Your whole god's shtick is saving the broken. She is my sister. I will bring her to the embrace of Shen and make sure she is given proper care. It is all I can offer. Well, hallelujah, another one for Shen. I stab her in the heart. I was, okay. I guess someone had to do it. I didn't she even did. give the crystal yet. The diamond. <laughs> well, well, can you she, catch it? The body I throw the crystal over to you. And I catch it. It starts seeping out of her mouth. She's dead. I'm gonna... Are there, wait, okay. We, got a, we got a minute. Did any orbs I roll can... out of her sleeve? No. I've been fighting magic. Wait, is it? Is it's, 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 it's a minute. minute. You get a, a minute. minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it is a minute, you're right. I can still detect magic. What do I see? You see a burst of magic that you cannot quite identify that seems to erupt from her chest. And then this energy seems to form right, basically. It just seeps out of her and then forms into an object right at her feet under her dress. Why does I, it I have like, to be under her fucking dress? I like grab both her ankles and just like like I like Start put my arm. Shaking I just her. roll her over. Just no, roll her I, over. That's a good idea. I I I, 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 I you want to reach into her dress again? Nope. I I grab morning. Sorry, I'm, morning. I'm gonna let the, the man covered in hair do it this time. Yes. I roll her onto her belly, and you see a red sphere roll out. I. Pick it up with, with a single carefully. eye glowing, glaring at you. Can, can like, does the eye look like it can see? Yes. Like, it, I, it's looking straight at you, Taxi. Oh yeah, I, I flip it off. I, 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 I flip off the orb. There we go. Um, I 
uh, I will give it, I, I will sort of like slowly move it towards like a place that is equidistant between Paxi and It feels hot to touch. Okay, you know, it's hot to the touch. You can hold it, Paxi. You lost it last time, but I can see you now. Yeah. Um, and then I, ca I take the diamond, I invoke my celestial powers, and I cast Revivify on her. She has one hit point and isn't dead. She, but we see the wound from the stab heals before your eyes, and the blood seeps, continues to seep out of her mouth until she spits it out. She lets out a loud gasp. <gasps> then her breathing starts quickening before slowing down to a steady pace. And I grab the orb and I hold there. it up to her. I go, where the fuck did you find this? I push Paxi off. She just died. Give her a moment to catch her breath. Uh, Paxi? That's fair. Give it a second. Like, let her come to her senses. Yeah. Take like a take like a walk. Yeah. We like go like. Go, you see that tree over there? Yeah. Go around it five nope. times. Nope. I'm going to I'm going to go over here. I'm going to sit what, down, facing the party. I'm going to cross yeah. my legs. And I'm going to put the orb right in the center. And the orb is currently staring up at you, Paxi, glaring. Yep. And I'm going to stare at it, and I'm going to be sitting there just like this with a middle finger in front of my face. So, That's understandable. That's understandable. She slowly sits up. I remove the rope from her mouth so that way she can actually properly, like, get gas with air. Like, yeah. she's still blindfolded. We no, she's we never blindfolded. blindfolded her. Oh, you notice just that her, her one her one good eye is currently a milky white. The one, one, one good, good eye? eye. I mean, the other one the eyelid is melted from the. The fucking God. score. It's like it's like someone branded her face with the symbol of an eye. Uh, don't worry about that. I got a ring. We can fix that. Yeah, we we can fix that. Actually, toss me the ring of regeneration. Nope. I'm using it. Okay. Okay. That actually, way, no. You know that's what? fine. Here you go. <laughs> I, I I trade ring of regeneration for a healing spirit. You will heal sixty six health over the course of the next six rounds. Cool. If I'm... you lose a body part, the ring causes a missing part to regrow. It doesn't do anything else. I mean. Right. So she, are you saying it would not her fix eye her eyeball? If her eye is destroyed, she'll grow it back. I don't. It doesn't necessarily say it kills the scars, but it's a step in the right direction. Hey, how are you feeling? I will put the ring. I will. I will hand her the ring of regeneration and tell her to put it on. I try to have a conversation with her. I guess. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, there you go, Paxi. So yeah, health. full health. Could is <laughs> so. In order to restore damage, I need to spell regenerate. Anyways, okay. she is it the ring of regeneration. Yeah, generation that's what the that. ring is. It, they're, they're they're both different, apparently. Uh, apparently. All right, regenerate. Hold on. Here we go. You touch creature with its peeling ability. You heal it or not. He also regenerates hit points. The target severed body member, uh, body members, fingers, legs, tails, and so on, if they are restored. If you have any severed part, hold the stump. So hold on, is that it? I, I I feel like regrowing lost body parts kind of holds the implication of healing scar tissue. Cool. All right, gouge out her eye. Yeah. <laughs> we I have mean, to make sure it's gone first. I mean, oh, your skin's a body part. She's alive right now. She turns her head to you, Athenia. Her, she has like a cold stone expression. You're, you're better at Which the whole bedside manner thing than me. I need to go over here. What is it you wish? How are you feeling? It matters not what I feel. Are that, you still you? That's not ominous. That is the question indeed. Am I she still has an, She has an owl to hug if she needs to. Like you move the owl like any of see your character. It like it like sort of like rests up next to her. It's nice. What do you feel? Confusion. The feeling of being lost. Part of me wonders if this is a dream. I am not sure. I saw visions. Visions of fire. A giant glowing eye. I saw a towering entity laughing. And well, I saw that is over now. 
law and order. It's a necessity for the world. But is it something that's holding the world back? I'm not sure. I have a lot to think about of what I saw. You may do that. You need to get some rest. I have all the time for rest now. All right, and I, I guess I pick her up and I bring her all the way over to the carriage. And Sierra follows you right behind you. Taxi's Taxi. still walking. The eye is starting to feel even more hot now. It's I, I'm not okay. holding it. It's sitting on the grass. Okay, well you see smoke coming out of that. You see smoke coming out of the grass. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Pax, Dylan, and Pax, he's not the DM. <laughs> That's terrifying. Dylan, uh, magic items are not destroyed by the disintegrate spell. Is there anything left, or is there just ash? Of what? Of, of the guy who, of the, of the human. Anything that is, like, non magic anything that is magic, magic items are not destroyed by disintegrate. Everything the, else is. The only item left is the medallion. This medallion of Shen? Yes. I will take his. I'll dust it off a little bit. Um, it is scorched. It looks like it would disintegrate of normal means. It seems like it had a bit of a abyssal touch to it. Okay. Um, two things. Question one. Uh, is Can I actually, again, detect magic is still up for a little bit. Do I actually see a magical aura around the Shen medallion? Or... You see a magical aura, but you don't quite know what school it is. Okay. Is do I have? Is, I can't, maybe I'm just forgetting. Is mine magic, or is mine yes. normal? Your your all yours also has magic. Okay. Um. Okay, Dylan. This is very important because I am now on a time limit. Um. What counts as a part of a body? Because I don't want to take something too grotesque. But I need something from this guy. Can I just take his medallion and we say the blood on his medallion is enough? Because I think there's something poetic about that. Sure. Okay, I take his bloody medallion, I put it in a very carefully in a bag or something. All right, Dylan, I'm a druid. I know druid things, right? I speak the druidic language and the such. Yep. Where do you think I could go to get... Um, let me just read the exact wording of it. Uh, uh, the exact wording is... Why is it so hard? There it is. Uh, reincarnate. Uh, I need rare oils and... I'm not even going to... Unganets worth 1,000 gold peaches, which the spell consumes. I, 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 it's, it's a It's a kind of like oil or like lubricant for like massages and stuff just oils i need rare oils used in the spell reincarnation or reincarnate do i can i you, can i just buy uh rare oils you probably would not find in Margrasia, or at least you have to find a place for outsiders roll history with advantage okay uh, uh minus one <laughs> another minus one Poggers! <laughs> actually, no, actually, no, it would be it would probably be nature. I, I, I like, I like how Dylan's like. I want them to roll. Oh wow, that's really bad. Uh, let's roll a different number. Um, nature. There we go. Yeah, there we go. What's advantage still? Okay. One. Oh no. Twenty-one. Close enough. So twenty-two. You would probably, you wouldn't definitely know where these things came from. So these essential oils, these rare and exotic oils, they're not common. They're not. They're, there's not that many places that sell them. To your knowledge, there are only two locations where your kind have gotten hands on such rare oils for reincarnate. One, the Boomy Theocracy. They have a bun abundance of these for their own rituals, but Chaluda rarely does any trick with them. The second location is your home, Chaluda. There's a lot of plants that these herbal like herbalists would make these oils to sell either for rituals or gifts to appease the fey and other things so if you wish to look for such oils you have to find okay. them in chaluda 
or a Chaluda emissary or traveling merchant from Chaluda. Okay. The other issue is that I have nowhere near a thousand gold pieces, and none of us do, unless we have a hundred platinum between the four, the five of us. Uh, you don't want to think about how much gold I have. How much? Oh, right. You have none. You spent all of it. Well, um, no, 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 no. I have a. Uh, let's see. I have over a thousand gold. I need that. I just sort of take the money. And then wait, I what is it that you need? What are you doing? Um, <laughs> what are you? I, wait, what were you? What did I, you initially bring up I, the gold for? Okay, um, I, Athena, you are apparently our tr our uh, treasurer. I need money. I need a thousand money. For what? Magic, druid things. To do what? No, make people not dead anymore. Are you talking about this guy here? Yes, I can make him not be dead anymore, but I need a thousand gold. I'm not willing to part with everything because I can save many lives with a thousand gold. I don't know this one person. I mean, I'm willing to chip in, but I'm not willing to zero out. Okay. Swolbo, do you... you have any funds that you're willing to put in? Uh, yes and no. Do I have any funds? Yes, that I'm willing to put in? No. How much money do you have, Swolbo? Enough. I think he just answered your question. Okay. Uh, Patsy, how much money do you have? None. I spend this, my okay. money. The important thing is that I don't have any money that I'm willing to contribute to this. Okay. Uh, Swalbo, I have a very important question. Can you please stand more than 10 feet away from Athenia? Uh, I don't. I don't like the way you ask that. I get closer to Athenia somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I pat Swalbo on the head. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. If I kill Swalbo, I can just bring him back at no cost, but after <laughs> looting his sword. I can pull out my axes. No, this Akos, is this is Akos, Akos, Akos. This is internal. This is inside thoughts. A a Cass is having. A Cass is having inside thoughts. You're having the outside inside... thoughts right I, now. I, I attempt, to, I attempt to read no, your face and no, see what kind of thing no. you're thinking. A I'm, I'm, I'm I'm thinking, thinking it. It. Okay, I'm, Akos, the I'm red thinking. eye is staring at you. And you notice that the eye glows for a little bit. Bro, bro. Fine. Fine. Be that way. Don't save people's lives. Also, no on that. You're threatening to kill someone. I, you can come back to life infinity times. <laughs> Anyways, she <laughs> speaks up again. I know what Votros' biggest goal is. Oh? To spread the most amount of chaos and for, for energy is a very simple method, yet also complicated. He does not seek to bring energy to this world. Such a feat would gather too much attention from the other divine entities. What he instead is to find and look for at least one of the Harbingers. Oh, the giant robot. That's good. Oh, he's always the FK. I loot him. Um. Okay, so he wants to. Does he want to summon a specific harbinger or just any of them? The one that he was planning on gathering forces for is for the one found within the Boomy Theocracy. His knowledge on the harbingers are scarily abundant. It seems that during his many lives and possessions, he has used those people in order to gather as much knowledge on these cre creations as possible. And the one that he is focused on is the one in Boomy's Theocracy. And he knows which one it is. Mm. Does he have people in the Boomy's Theocracy already? He has some, but they are more dormant. After all, he and his cult draw too much attention, and without enough, the warriors in the Boomy's Theocracy would be able to take down his cult with little issue, especially with their spell hunters. That is true. But the Harbinger he seeks to awaken is known as the Bound Destroyer. That's uh, not an ideal name for something that's going to be unbound. He um, knows 
It is referred to as a bound destroyer, for it is a giant humanoid creature of metal, from the descriptions I've seen from Votress's memories. Huh. It uses chains, and is powered by energy unknown to many, and it is capable of completely just decimating a kingdom. And we can't let them have that. And of all the creations of the Lifesmith, the Harbingers are the greatest, and one alone is more than enough to cause a, the end. Thus why the name they refer to as Harbingers of the Apocalypse. Well, our Voltros is a ball right now, so that puts For a damper on the plans. But regardless, Voltros is not the only one seeking <laughs> to bring the power of the Harbingers. There are others who seek to awaken them and potentially control them. Huh. Well, well, we'll worry about that problem when we get to that. Well, for right now, <laughs> let's get you back. Let's get you back to town. Get you some like nice food, some clean clothes. Yes, we should do that. <clears throat> uh, Sierra, would you like a ride back as well, or do you have horses? That's when she just she can summon her. I have my own. You don't know that. that I can call upon shotgun. All right. I, oh. Your assistance is no longer needed. I can bring her back, and then we will perhaps move <laughs> to another location. I hold up the orb. What about this thing? <laughs> she turns to it, destroy it some somehow. It is too dangerous to leave alone. <sighs> You okay. honestly trust a group of idiots like us? What? To do that? You're the idiot here, Paxi. <laughs> you're the one that lost the orb last time. Yeah, you're all dumb by association. Not oh, fair. You're walking. Uh, in case you have not noticed, we do not have any power to deal with this situation. You at least have proved to be stronger. Yeah. Morning, can I hit this thing with you? Can you, you? Do you just hear Morning say, uh, you can try. Cool. Actually, I have an idea. Nope. Actually, before you I do put that. the orb down and I smack it with morning. Morning breaks and is dead. Roll attack. Come on, natural okay, so, 20. This is the time so, we need the natural 20. Hiya! Yeah. Actually, are they leaving? Damn. The 19. <laughs> can, can I say a hex blades curse the thing first? That it oh, you already you, used you, it. Hit, you hit it. The orb. You see a shower of sparks erupt as well as flames in the orb does not seem to be damaged in the least. Okay. Fuck. Um, right, and you notice the eye is just staring back up at you. I, uh, Taxi. Yeah, and it seems very smug. You can't be smug. You have no lids. <laughs> He's giving off a smug energy. <laughs> okay. uh, so are, are Sierra and Manalia leaving? Uh, she, Sierra can jerk a horse, and she's seeking to bring Manala with her. I will, I will help carry because I am so big and strong. The but... the god Shen constantly has beef with this guy. Uh, what's the other god's name? Anagen. Uh, Anagen. Yes. Yeah. And we now have the thing that keeps making them pop up, and Shen doesn't have a way to destroy this thing? She's not a fucking... She She's a messenger like... of Shen. She should know what to do with this thing when she found it. She's a fucking wizard. Like, what is she gonna do? Besides, she has other things to worry about. Besides, we're the protagonist. We need to be the one to cause the problems. To, do, you, um... do you not have instructions on what to do if you find this stupid thing? I do yeah, not. For I mean, old, she said destroy old, it. Old man generosity has not given me instructions. Hey, Kaz, where the fuck is that old man? Uh, I, I, I get the impression of the fact that he's named old man generosity. I'm assuming he's kind of anywhere. Everywhere? Nowhere? Eh. Shit. Before he okay. found us, he said he would be moving north. I'm well, assuming towards which door. Yeah, he well, was at which door. Hey, um, before you go, I want to just... I don't know. I I don't know how much this matters to you, but I, I take the one from their friend who has disintegrated his his medallion. I your uh, your half orc friend. I can bring him back, but this guy I can't. 
I need I she need to takes, keep, she takes a medallion. I need to keep the other one. Very well. See that you wield Wait. at least one medallion of Lord Shen. Hopefully Definitely that need that ring back, by the way. <laughs> Melina <laughs> takes it off and basically offers it to I guess she offers it to Sierra, who then gives it to pa uh, Agus, who's right there. Aha! I have a ring of regeneration now, it doesn't fit. Did, did it not fix her eyeball? No. She looks She's a little bit healthier. Power. She looks a little bit healthier now, but her face is still scarred. Uh, and her eyeball is still milky white. Uh, we'll see you again later. I will. Like, the eyeball that's milky white used to be the red, fiery eye that was added. Uh, not antigens, but Votrosis. Okay. Well. All right, so here's the thing, team, as they leave. Hell up. Uh, and then we all attack Swolbo. No, we don't. Um, right. Swolbo back, So wait. They're, they took her? Want to try attacking me, Akez? I was very but, adamant against Akez, that. Akez, how much HP do you have? Oh. oh. What What do you mean? Like, they're they're taking her back to town to care for her. Yeah, they her. said that they... She said earlier <clears throat> that was exactly what she was not going to do. <laughs> Yeah, no, leave. <laughs> Roll insight, Athena, in that case. Hey, Cass, out of curiosity, what? what's your total HP? Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I can fly. I mean, I already know what they're going to do, so I don't even need to roll insight. Wait, no. are they going to fucking execute her? No, no. no. okay. Pack. They're okay. leaving You're town. They straight up said that she's leaving inside. town with her. They're starting new. And they said know, if that she had any chaos in her, they would kill her. That's not even insight. I knew what was happening because she said it. Oof. No, Why really are you bad. letting her? You know what? No, I will kill them. I'll kill her if I have to. The Sierra person. What? I still have my blender going. How about we have a conversation first? And you, you, handle, you handle your trust issues. Uh, Paxi? Huh? Can you put the orb on the ground for a second? Yep. You guys are bad people. I've been giving. Look, the people, the followers of Shen care for the downtrodden and the desperate. They're going to I help her. No, nothing of this religion, I mean, and I don't trust it. They, their friend just got possessed by a demon and became a cult leader. After she was unpossessed, they're like, "Yeah, we should leave town." That, that doesn't sound unreasonable. Is that what she said? I didn't hear that. No, but. She said that, but also said that if there was any chaos in her, then they would kill her. I feel like we didn't. That fully doesn't agree sound to that. unreasonable. Any chaos, and she already exhibited that. Yeah, there's exhibited. chaos in all of us. It's fine. No, there's chaos in Swolbo, in Paxi. Look, are you are you really going to like? Uh, okay, okay. You guys are chaotic, stupid. I get no. on my horse. No. <laughs> I, I think chasing after them is stupid. No, I'm not chasing after them. I'm going on my horse. I'm going back to the cart. Actually, can you put the... Look, I think Athena's yeah, worried. Zoom out. I, I, it's I think, on the ground. Okay. Uh, I just, you know, I think Athena... I think you, with your foolishness, worked her up really hard, and she just, she just needs, like, a second to breathe. Anyway, I shoot the orb with my shotgun. <laughs> You shoot with a shotgun? Yes. Roll <laughs> shotgun damage and hit. Oh, okay. I, I don't want to leave, by the way. The oh, okay, bye. Actually, a unique shotgun to do it, so. <laughs> Wait, so it, I thought there was a cone involved. Is it just a normal attack? It is, it's a cone where you roll one attack for everything. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to point it at the ground so it doesn't hit fucking anyone. But that doesn't hit. Okay, bang. <laughs> Roll damage. Nine piercing, two fire. Why are we the piercing? You shouldn't. I might, have to, I might have to fix that one. Anyway, so it would be 11 damage. Okay. Does it show any kind of visible sign of damage or alteration? Uh, there's, a, there's a shit ton of sparks and flames shooting out, but the orb seems to be relatively fine. 
And you notice it blinks and then stares back at you. Um, this is really cool, Paxi. I, I've been waiting for a chance to try this out. You want to go? There is a loud fucking boom that radiated through the entire fucking grasslands. <laughs> Paxi, you want to go? Oh, I'm good. Okay. I'm going to just shoot it one more time. All right. Making another attack. Okay, let me just protect my charges. That's not ideal. The gun jams. Oh, does it not expend a charge? You hear some sounds, and then the sides open up. You hear a hissing noise before pieces of shards of metal shoot out. It expends the charge. I think that's a sign to not shoot the shotgun anymore. I put the shotgun away. You hear a beeping noise before a loud beep, and then a green light flashes. Seems like whatever jam it had, it got fixed. Okay, good. Self repair. That's useful to know. Um. Hmm. 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 Okay. Well, you know what? We're we're gonna we're gonna keep throwing shit at this orb until it dies. I will actually. You're resistant to fire. You take it. I don't want to. I don't want to get hurt. I. I put okay. So, did Athenia harass the other two? Where's no. everybody? Okay. This map is so fucking huge. It is. I left. Okay. Well. Oh, with the horse and carriage. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh wait, oh. you left with the horse and carriage. Yep. You left Swobo behind. Yeah, I told Swobo to come with me before, and Swobo didn't. Wait, what? Yeah, I said like Swobo. <laughs> yeah, earlier. You want? I, said, I don't think you were very right. clear. I said before, like Swobo, you want like you want like let's get in the carriage, Swobo. We're leaving Acus and Paxi. Oh, I did not hear that at all. Okay. It's a. Let's just it's okay. Wait, wait. How, how long has passed since uh? Not that long. You can, you can catch up very easily. No, 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 no. How, how long has passed since uh, we finished the fight? It's only been like a couple Dylan? minutes. A couple minutes. Okay, so I have... L let's say, what, five minutes? So for five minutes, I'm still faster than your horse. Yeah. <laughs> I gesture a swallow to jump in. Nah. Oh, well... I'm going to catch up to you eventually, and you're going to get exhausted. <laughs> do, I, do I really not get to ride in the cart because I helped us take out a cult and save an innocent girl's life? Is that oh, what Oh, wait, doing is your now? horse sprinting? <laughs> huh? Is your horse sprinting? Uh, have to. sure. Well. All right. So let's see here. Its heart won't explode, right? It, it can get a new one. Yeah. Oh, I guess after five minutes, I'd only be like 2,000 feet ahead of you. Mm. Understandable. Yes, pa but yes, Paxi does have to walk. At what which point it would take another five minutes for you to catch up with me. I'd literally help innocent person. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to assume I'm I'm sprinting for like 10 minutes and then eventually the car catches up with me when the boots wear off. You know what it is, Paxi? As we're walking. I think the issue is that Athenia is like, I think wontons get into her head. She's got like that that wonderlust, that like desire She's for violence. She's just jealous that she was pissed drunk and didn't get to fight off cult leaders. You know what? That's probably part of it. I bet, I bet she's not going to have another drinking contest next time that comes up. Um, anyway. Oh yeah, she's okay. drinking the entire way back, by the way. <laughs> That's fair. I'm the one I'm the one with the drinking cup. The infinite alcohol drinking cup. Okay. Yeah, um, but I still have my rum in, a, in my flask that I rarely ever touch. Alright. So, Paxi. Huh. I, th I think we can both agree that resurrecting our friend, helping them, I mean, they helped us. They're good people. I think it's only fair that we do everything we can to help them, right? Seems reasonable. Sure. Okay, so, how easily do you think the two of us can steal most of Athenia and Swobo's money while they are asleep? That sounds like a terrible idea. You really want to piss Swobo off? And Athenia, who can easily... 
Hey, hey, Kez, you understand, if you make one wrong move, Tiff. you die. <laughs> I was asking you this question earlier, hey, Kez. How much HP, how much total HP do you have? Uh, not enough. It, is uh, it uh, under 50? Uh, it, hey, Kez. It, because I did 50 HP in one attack earlier. I'm aware, no, I'm aware, I'm aware that if I fight Swole, but that's why I'm waiting till he's asleep. What, what are you going to use the money for? What are you going to buy? I need to pay someone to repair my lightsaber, okay? <laughs> Look, go back to fucking witch... Yes. Make your wisdom safe. Oh, it's trying to possess me. The shotgun's trying to possess... Wait, do you have this orb? Wait a minute. Wait a No, you do. Okay. Still, Akis, make a wisdom safe. You succeed, and yet you felt as if something, like, hot was entering your mind. Oh. And if you look, you notice that the red eye is glowing bright red, and it's just staring directly at you. Uh, Paxi? <sighs> the, orb tried, the orb tried to get in my brain. Do you think I should bad thoughts, or do you think we should just, like, chuck it in the ocean? Uh, it disappeared on its own last time, so I'm not taking my eyes off of it until we get back to the capital and someone okay. cooler than I can, I am, can destroy it. Okay, well, I, I think maybe if we talk to Nacho, maybe she might know, or find some way to get in contact with Irvioran. Irvioran is like our, Irvioran is, I think, is our best bet for a lot of things right now. Oh, by the way, irrespective of money, hmm, 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 hmm. What do you think sounds like a better idea, Paxi? Going to Chaluda and trying to legitimately buy things, or trying to steal them from 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 the people? I should stop having bad thoughts. I mean, they're bad people, uh, though. So I it. The it's eye like, glows bright red again. I do not want to go back to Chaluda. I'm not Chaluda. Chaluda is good. The Boomies is bad. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, if we had a thousand, I could go. Like, I, I'll. You know what? I'll I'll booze them up. I'll have a good talk with them. I'll be nice. I won't steal anything. I won't do anything chaotic. I point to the orb. Fuck you. Um, no, see, you gotta flip it off. I flip it off. There you go. The orb glares at you. We need to get fireproof. You're fireproof. I'm fire resistant, but we need, like, fireproof cl cloth to wrap this stupid thing in. Just don't sleep. How much How much does this thing burn? Like, does it burn more than the Ring of Regeneration can regenerate? <laughs> it just feels really hot right now. Okay. And it's sometimes smoking, but no actual damage. So I'm still holding it then. Nope. Hey, Paxi. How don't we just, like, sit for an hour or take a short rest? That way I get my wild shapes back, and then I can be a flying horse. And that then we is, can go back that, to town. That is a fantastic idea okay right. we sit down and we take a short rest all right and with that since it's pretty late i'd say it's a good time to end the session as well we're gonna fly <laughs> past the group on their stupid ass cart and flip them off and be like see you town fuckers i need to find a creature that can dash as a bonus action what is your flying movement speed uh, equal to the horse oh so you're not gonna pass us mm, we'll see um, yes, okay. A lot of, a lot of... Is the, is the influence on our group coming from the tumultuous evils of the orb, or are we just all stupid? I think it's the fact that we're all stupid. I don't know why Athenia left us here. We did a good thing. I don't, I don't, I think, you see, I think it's just that, like, we didn't do it her exact way. Okay. I think she would have... I don't. I think she's really against splitting the party. It's an old superstition, I guess. I suppose. So by splitting the party, she's teaching us a lesson to not split the party. That seems like yeah, a actually, really dumb thing for Athenia to do. That actually does seem like a bad plan. And eh, we'll, we'll worry about it. When we get to it. <laughs>